ow, ow. Oh, baby. It's time. It's time for the stream of the century. Ladies and gentlemen, now is the time for the stream of the century. My dad. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Hey, what's up? Ah, people, people showing up. That's always such a joy. You know, when people show up. I, I know that sounds weird, but it's honestly, it's like, yeah, people, people are watching this. Ah, shit. No, no, no. Okay, uh, there's a little echo there. Let's pop this MF out. Oh, I always forget to open up Streamlabs. That's the that's the thing I always forget whenever I start. To, I'm like, I'm ready. I got water. I got I, I got you know the window open. I got my phone all plugged in, and and I got the cards all set up. And then freaking I don't I don't have I'm not logged into Streamlabs. Gee whizzy whizzy whizzle teats. Uh, listen, baby boys and girls and everything in between, welcome to my beautiful stream that you will all be a part of. That's right. I guess I shouldn't say anywhere in between, because non-gender binary or fluidity is, I guess, not in between. It just, like, is... Is it inside or outside? Uh, I don't know. But hello to everybody. Um... How it going? Uh, welcome everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, my name is Aaron, and I will be your guide. I will be your guide. Um, I'm super thrilled about today. I'm super thrilled because we're hanging out. We're opening some cards. This is something I look forward to every damn day. Every day I wake up and I'm like, is today the day that I stream opening cards? No, it's not. And I get bummed out. And then it comes the day where I wake up and I'm like, is today the day that I'm opening cards? And then I'm like, yes! Look at these bad boys. Theros promo packs. And these promo packs, they come with more than five. They come with six, which is way more than five. And I think they also come with a little bit more than Ikoria, because we opened Ikoria last time. And now we're opening Theros. Bad boys. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. The new Phyrexia box? I don't know, but it was it was all from the stream. I wouldn't you know I wouldn't normally get a new Phyrexia box. Um, but because this the stream People, people donate so well. Um, I, I, I just want to be able to give you guys some interesting card opening experiences. Hmm. All right, babies. A lot going on this week. So it's time we chill out, relax, hang out. So let me just say, first of all, um, this Japanese Aquaria box was sent to me by... A man named Kellen. Kellen Walker, I believe. Yes, Kellen Walker. He's the owner-operator of Galaxy Games in Dublin, California, in the Bay Area. He sent me a very sweet letter about how he likes to watch my streams and how um, being so excited about these cards has sort of, like, rekindled some, some love for the game in him, and it was super-duper sweet. Um, I talked about it on the last stream. But he sent me this... Um, because he's the best, and I hope, I don't know if he's in here or not, but love him, love him, uh, and we already got some super chats, holy crap, bra donated, was good, <laughs> was good, oh, okay, I thought you were saying, like, it was good, and I'm like, what was good, uh, Jeremy Osborne, thank you, oh, hell, yeah, my favorite boy, open up magic cards, get some good cards for me, brother, I shall. I shall get some good cards for you. The player four. New Phyrexia is the set I started with, so I'm super excited. There's some good energy coming from there. Good luck. Ooh, yeah, I can feel it. You know, Susie agreed to bless these cards for me before we get started, so I'm uh, I'm, I'm ready and raring to go. Uh, 
Jamie Hernandez, thank you, my Karuba. And uh, Kai White, hello, Aaron. We too wake up every morning hoping it's stream day. Ah, come on. And Harriet, welcome back. You're here every time. Uh, thank you so much for, for coming all those times, all those times, every time. Hi, Aaron. Good day to you. Congrats on pulling the invention card last week. Thank you. I have them now up on my wall. Um, hope you have the same luck with pulls this week. These streams have been great to watch while I draw. Thank you for doing them. Um, and Austin Evans, thank you. I have absolute faith in Godzilla. Good luck, man. I love you. Yes, we are. So these Ikoria boxes come with box toppers. I am looking for Mecha Godzilla. It's, I, it's only an uncommon. No, it's not. It's a rare. Mecha Godzilla is a rare. It's Crystal and Giant. It's a fucking rare. But I'm looking for Mechagodzilla because there are three cards that are only in the Japanese boxes that don't that aren't in America, and you get them on the box toppers. And I'm hoping I can get it. It's, it's Mechagodzilla, it's Batra, and it's Mothra's egg or Mothra's offspring or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so hell yeah. Uh, for those of you who are curious, um, I have I have sort of makeshift tongue some of the art that I have up there. And uh, boom, there's there's my uh, masterpieces right up there. There's the rings that we pulled last time. Sitting up there looking sick in front of that Orzhov Enforcer there. And that Demir Informant. Oh, sick. And then there's Trine and Tri or Trin and her card as well. Beautiful. So beautiful. Um, so, oh, yeah. And then I got my Expeditions over there. And in the meantime, I actually pulled another Mothra which is like a $50 card, and I'm very, very pleased with this. Very, very pleased with this indeed. Um, so that's going over there in the, in the bunch. Uh, all right. Well, let's do this. Let me zoom out. <laughs> uh, we're going to be opening cards over Nyssa right here because she's wonderful. She shakes the world, um, as most people know, maybe from my Twitter handle or maybe from... In general, and what the fuck, Shade Wolf? Been following you since your NG days. Always love the animated content you've shown to the world. Hope you have an awesome end of the work week slash weekend. Thank you, Shade Wolf. Thank you so much. That is ridiculous. I really appreciate that. Um, Antonio Henderson. I uh, have absolute faith in Godzilla. Good luck, man. I love you. I think I. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Um, love you and the MTG openings. Aaron, hope to see more Game Grumps MTG Arena. Yeah, me too. Are you interested in opening Alara Reborn or Double Masters? Double Masters, absolutely, I will open for y'all when it comes out. Um, might be something special about that, but we'll see. Uh, Alex Isol, thank you. Finding a way to play with you and Dan is like number six on the bucket list. Number six? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's awesome, man. Thank you. DBZ Player, hey, Aaron, hope you get some great pulls, and I was wondering if you ever play with fans when the Backstreet Boys tour is over, or maybe even on Arena. Yeah, man, I would love to. I don't, I, I, let's play. Let's play. Mm. So, for those of you who, um, for those of you who, uh, have been watching, I've been talking about a new channel. I have it registered. I have the registered, uh, the Shuffle Master channel registered. I created the branding and everything, so I just got to get it, um, start uploading the videos on there, um, uploading the VODs, and uh, all the old VODs are going to go up there, and uh, I'm going to start streaming on that channel at some point. Um, I want to be able to, 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 I mean, not to be gross or anything, but I want to be able to monetize it before I start streaming on it, because we're saving up for that Urza Saga box. We're almost there. Mmm. <clears throat> I actually said your last name right? Oh my god. I'm a, apparently, I am very good at this. Uh, oh, I'm here this time. Kellen, hey! The shout out wasn't necessary, but thank you. Uh, you can get the Mecha Godzilla in regular packs as well. Oh, and if you get the chance, you should open Dark Steel. That set us fire. Great. Thank you for showing up, Kellen. Old Kel. <laughs> um, yes, I'm really hoping to get that Mecha Godzilla. I'm going to throw it in my binder on stream if I get it. Um, Nissa who shacks the wild, 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 that's nice. I love that. Um, okay, great. So um, I'm gonna go with uh, Japanese Aquaria first uh, because Phyrexia obviously is the is the is the money shot. Um, what are the cards I'm looking for in new Phyrexia? I know Karn Liberated is in here, um, but what are, what are the what are the big boys? What are the big the big players? The big. Uh, 
the big the big bad boy. Elish Elish Norn. Any of the Praetors? Pyrexian Obliterator. Okay. Batter Skull, Spellskite, Elish Norn. Okay, Elish Norn is the is Elish Norn a land? That sounds like a land. Hmm. Is the land cycle in Phyrexia big? Basic Island. <laughs> Sword of War and Peace. Oh, that's in here. Nice. I uh I have that. I have the masterpiece of that. Um, okay, the Praetors. Elish Norn is the white Praetor. Okay. Got it. Okay, cool. Well then, well, let's let's hunt for that. But right now, let's dive into Ikoria, Japanese Nihon no Ikoria. I love that Vivian right there, the tiny little Vivian. She's like, "Hello, <laughs> I'm Asa." Okay, uh, Aaron, you really need to play Commander. I do. I just can't. I would love to play Commander. I can't see anyone! I'm trapped indoors! It's been months, man! Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, Susie? Can you bless my packs? Hell yeah. <laughs> People are already... <laughs> we need the blessing. Susie, bless! Gotta get these good ones. Just pulled an Elish Norn from a mystery booster. Oh, I didn't know they were mystery boosters. Shit, have I pulled one? I've, I've opened quite a few mystery boosters. Yeah, you know, I've been thinking about making a cube. It sounds super fun. Wow, hey, babe. So what's this pack? Okay, so this is Japanese Aquaria. I'm looking for Mechagodzilla. Okay. Um, so, I mean, that's basically... Or Batra or Mothra's Egg. Uh, yeah, no, Mechagodzilla is in here. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, I already, like, yeah, I can. I feel like he's in there for oh, sure. Holy crap. Yeah, so... um. I'm transferring my energy to this right now. Give me a second. Ooh, Susie, I can feel it. It's it's crackling off yeah. of you. Oh man. Oh man. Ah. Yeah, I wish I could be in the room while you open this, but I think it, like the power store might be too much. I'm gonna have to leave the room. Oh but my I know that I know that Mega Godzilla is in there. Oh, dude. All right. Well, this one <laughs> this one needs the blessing even more so yeah? because this is we need Elish Norn. We need uh, uh, Phyrexian Obliterator. There's there's so many goodies in here that need to come out. Okay. Um, to play. All right. So let's see then. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't laugh at my <laughs> technique. No, it's good. It's I'm I'm admiring it. <laughs> Whoa. All right. This is the final blast. Yeah. Well. All right. There's some good stuff in there. Oh, good stuff, huh? Yeah. Nothing. No. Nothing particular. Just good stuff. No. I I, what I did was I transferred good energy into it, and, you know, like, you know, I was feeling out the balancing of the cards reflecting the energy mm, back at I me. I see, I see. So, yes. yeah, there's some fun stuff happening. Yeah. All right. Thank you, babe. <laughs> You're the best. I, I hope that, uh, I hope I can help. Oof. Oof. The box is hot. Ooh. It's hot with energy. Oh, man. I can open that up. Oh, look at this. Fucking Ikoria. Bakusu. Tapa, topa, motherfuckers. Put that over here so you can all be reminded at the end. Oh, the Japanese packs, the loose ass Japanese packs with the goddamn fucking hanging on a hanging on a spike. Get a little pencil action going. So it's oh, look at this. It's like a store display. You're just hanging on the things. Oh, I just want to grab one. Oh, it's, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab one. Yeah, I'm just play with it. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> oh my god, what are all these freaking... Do oh my god, okay, okay. Uh, Chris Waldo, thank you. These make me want to start playing slash collecting, but I have no idea where to start. Baby, start wherever you want. Just have some fun. Just do it. Just do it. Do it how you want to, man. That's that's the that's the joy. Like I started it, and I was just like, I just like the cards. And then I was like, oh, I like playing it. And then it was like, oh, I like the cards, and I like playing it. Um, Cody Hoffman's, thank you. Uh, love you, Aaron. Tell Dan I said hi. Okay, you got it. Uh, the Savage Gentleman. Wow, thank you. First time getting to watch one of these live. Great luck on your polls, Aaron. Also, have you ever thought about playing Super Mario RPG on Game Grabs? <laughs> I've said this a million times about so many other games, but the basic gist of it is I didn't grow up on Super Mario RPG. I wouldn't want to not do it justice. So I, I might want to play it before beforehand. Sorry. 
Oh, geez, it's a little burpy. Death Punch, 4477. Do you play modern? Not really, but I'd like to. Also, do you watch Tolarian Community College? I feel like you'd like him. Uh, I do. I, I watch a lot of Magic the Gathering YouTubers. Um, he has got a great brand. Um, I mean, it's like, it so stands out from from others. I love it. Yeah, that guy's cool. Um, Toxic Toucan, sending you good vibes for rare cards. Thank you so much. William Valencia, the fourth. Elish Norn is a legendary creature in a cycle of five, one for each color, each of their creature types being Praetor. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's get some Praetors then, baby. Oh. Some Praetors. I think I had a I think I had an English teacher named Mrs. Praetor. Um all right. Oh, oh, that's right. They're Japanese. They got the little rips, the rip tab. I always feel like that's like damaging the side of the cards when it like grabs the cards right here. I don't know. It feels weird. I like opening them with the flap. You know what I mean? Shit, this isn't working out. Oh, look at these Japanese cards. Look at them. Is the is the rare right in front? Yes, it is. Oh, we got already. We got fucking foil rare sky 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 cat sovereign. And Mythos of Aluna, very beautiful, very nice, nice card. Oh, you know what? I need to take the, these out of the box so that they're locked. They're not blocking the light. Just over here. Yeah, right there. Get this out of here. Get this candle out of here. It's a candle. You know what? I might light it. Let's light a candle. Get a nice incentive in here. Get some. Uh, Get some, uh, oh, little focus on the box there. Get some, uh, it's like a watermelon, uh, yeah, it's like watermelon, watermelon cooler. It's really relaxing. It's, uh, it's very, like, cool. You know, it's got, like, a fruity, fruity flavor, fruity scent. Let me just put that over there. It'll burn all my cards. <clears throat> all right. So that's our first. That's our first pick. Uh, Foil Sky Cat and the Mythos of Aluna. We also got that Sky. We got the bird that goes with it. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. And then we got that Bastion of Remembrance. We got Swallow Hole, right? Swallow Hole. Something me. Whoa. Something's. Something's fucking blown up over there. Ooh, look at that. The beautiful, uh, beautiful full art uh, Oryx. Very nice. Is that... Is this alternate art? I'm not familiar with that art. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, no, this is... This is real. Okay. I don't know why it feels like I haven't seen this art before. <laughs> no, don't take my brain. And we got the symbiote or whatever. The little guy. Sweet, dude. I love the Japanese lands. They're just so cool. They're just fucking so... Mountain. Yama, bitch. <laughs> nice. Yama. <laughs> All right. I'm going to sleeve these. Sleeve the rares. That's my jam. Just getting warmed up, baby. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's, I just looked at that art and I was like, I've never seen that before. But I, like, I've seen every fucking card in this set. I need to bring this light closer. There we go. That should be a little better. All right, pack number two. Let's do it. I don't, I don't like the rip tab. I just, I just don't like it. It's, it's strange. It feels strange. Got a little human soldier there. Windscarred crag. Ooh, another foil right off the right out of the gate. That's um fight 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 with fight with hand. Eat hand. That's the card. He's just about to fucking munch on that hand. <laughs> Doesn't even know. Oh, it's one of the ultimatums. Uh, ver fortuitous ultimatum. Sup sup superbitous ultimatum. You know why they're throwing me off? I think the printing on these Japanese cards are a little lighter. I think they're they're like something about the... Like, I've seen Sudden Spinnerets a thousand times, and I just... It, it looks different. Oh, that's weird. I don't know, man. Serval. Sa -sa -sa. Serval, we got the cut the crystal. I always love this guy, the fucking marmoset. <laughs> oh, the fuck did you just say? All right, we got that bad boy, bad boy dragon sucking dragon, dragon life out of the brains or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on there. 
Essence Scatter, and we got a T-Rex. That looks like a Disney ride or something, dude. Nice. All right. Let's open up another another pack. Oh! American cards are darker and kind of waxier. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. All right. Oh, we got some. We got some other ones. I'm just. I'm like. I'm like gearing up. I just came off from like not talking at all this all this whole day. So I'm like. I'm like warm and I'm like. Oh, okay. Whew. Let's get into it. Mm. Oh, okay. Japanese tragic slip. Where are you at? I was looking. Um. I was looking through my binder and I saw this uh, Christopher Muller card that was like gorgeous. And I was like. I was like, who drew this card? And I was like. A fucking course. You know, he retired. He doesn't draw cards anymore. So what a bummer. All right, boom, boom. And we got that Offspring. Offspring's Revenge, baby. Offspring's Revenge. And then, of course, these bad boys. Ah, oh, that Narset's so fucking cool. Look at that. So dope. And we got the Boar and the Spit Boy. <laughs> that phase dolphin i love the phase dolphin man you know it's like it doesn't seem like a good card in general but in drafts that could be fun you know like make make another creature unblockable it's fucking dope whoa dude who's that i don't like i don't recognize these cards there's something about like the brightness of the cards that's like really bringing out the art where i'm like what is this that's dope just fucking like follow me we will take what's ours. <laughs> All right. Hearthstone card. Yeah, you know, I feel like this new set, Akoria, is definitely very, like... I, I mean, when you think of, like, Mecha Godzilla or Crystal and Giant, rather, um, it's, it's, it's very, like, choose 17 things at random, and it's like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, you can just roll a dice, I guess, but... Um, it's it's just like the game does it for you. Don't worry about it. Mm. Same with like extinction event, where it's like choose odd or even. Yeah, offering a run. Outlaws merriment. One of those cards where it's just like pick one of these three at random. It's like okay, I guess I'll roll a six sided die, and then choose like the one and two as one, and two and three as whatever. All right, we got that. Go. Oh damn, we're getting foils in every pack, and oh little. What, what was his name? Ko Kogla? Kogala? Kogala? This Cavern Whisperer foil is fucking really nice. I'm so used to that alt art, you know what I mean? Get a little get a little friendship. He just doesn't look like he wants anything to do with this fucking guy. <laughs> this guy's like, I will feed you nuts. And he's like, I don't fucking like nuts. I fucking hate nuts. <laughs> get those goddamn nuts out of my fucking face. Oh, we got the brush wag, baby. You know, I would say like the brush wag is the sign, but you know, we already got the we already got the rare, that cloud piercer. Yeah. It's definitely lighter. That is definitely less black. Something about like the wash, maybe, or yeah, the, the finish that makes the blacks like a lot more crushed. Definitely. Definitely difference there. Alright. We're doing pretty well. Luca is the villain of the set. Oh, so that the the creature really was like, get away from me, Luca! You fucking, you fucking guy! All right, <clears throat> Hactos is the most arena card. Yeah, Hactos is a pretty pretty arena ass card. Rule: we'll pick pick a number at random, and that's the whatever. And then every card is uh, all right. I I would say Crystal and Giants the worst. What do we got here? We got a fucking Dorat. We got a motherfucking Japanese door at right here. Look at this sprite dragon ass motherfucker fucking smiling and shit. <laughs> and that one's like, I got a fish. All right. Oh my God. Fuck yeah. Fucking Winota right over here. Damn, dude. These poles. I'll take that. I'm into that, baby. Do, 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 do. Sleep that motherfucker. I mean, it's, a, it's a uncommon, but whatever. Fuck yeah, dude! That sick Winota ass. Um, so the uh the uh, Winota is um, choose one creature and then expel the. Uh, Winota. I don't understand. Like 
and you know, I'm not like a seasoned magic player or anything. I only started playing like, you know, less than a year ago. And when I read Winota, I was like, what? But isn't that like incredibly unfair to just like cheat human cards on turn four? <laughs> like, that seems really unfair. And lo and behold, it was. So unfair, in fact, that it banned uh, a card that I'm very happy that they banned. Agent of Treachery can suck my fucking nuts. Suck my nuts, dude. Got a little turtle action. Love this. I don't know what it is about this one. It's just so cool. Very, like, regal. Oh, yeah. Is that Luca? So much Luca in this set. <laughs> Doesn't this card feel like it's from, like, like 20 years ago? There's just something about... Is Scott Murphy like a like an old school magic artist? There's just something about this card that's like, it's like, oh yeah, man, I used to play that and fucking uh, revise, dude. All right, <clears throat> power pull stand. Uh, David Lara, thanks. Uh, reminder that the upcoming course set is actually perfect for newcomers. Pro newcomers, newcomers. Pro tip for them, never destroy lands, just JKs, play how you guys want. Oh man, that's... Yeah, don't give him, don't give him bad advice, David Lara. Uh, Gabriel Rees, who is your favorite artist for magic? Christopher Muller, baby! <laughs> Although I've got, a, I've got a thing for uh, Jesper, because uh, I have one of his newer pieces. I have Trin, um, which is gorgeous. Such a gorgeous piece of art. Um, his use of color is just fantastic. It's so fucking good. Um, so whenever I see Jesper, I'm like, ooh. But, I, you know, I gotta say, when it comes to just, like, classic, awesome fucking Seb, man. Gotta go Seb. Seb Seb's fucking king, man. Every, every time I see, like, a new Seb card that I haven't seen before, I'm like, oh. Whoa. It's fucking gorgeous, man. Alright. Little Sky Cat, man. We're getting those Sky Cats like, like a mother. Oh, Zerda! Zerda! That's what I use to fight my allergies. And this is this Luca? This is Luca's all over the place, man. Oh, Sprite Dragon. I, just, I actually don't think I have like any like normal I, I probably have a couple Sprite Dragons, but I have more Dorats than I have Sprite Dragons. Sick. <laughs> I love Divine Arrow. It's I, it, it, nobody ever expects it, you know. It it I just it's, it always gets use. Every oh that's cool, Farfinder. It's so cute, man. It's like what great art. This is beautiful colors. Um, div, nobody ever expects the Divine Arrow, man. That fucking that fucking they're like, oh, I'm gonna get you, yeah. And then you're just like, ah, eh, four damage, white for two. Mm. Nobody expects it. Okay. Little little human boy. Here we go. Oh, Labyrinth Raptor. Love this card. Not a very good card. I mean, he's okay for Menace deck or whatever. We got that. What is this? The Chittering? The Chittering Harvester? I fucking love Avian Oddity, dude. Look at this. What am I? I love that. Oh, it's Luca's cat. Wait, okay, so I want to know... Okay, so it's it's MTG story. All right, got it. Yeah, because I want to know what the fuck is going on with Luca's cat, where he's, like, feeding him, they become friends with him, and then they fight alongside each other, and then he gets murdered. Damn. All right, I got I to gotta look up story stuff, because... Yeah, that's that seems like there's, there's a lot going on. Oh, yeah, it's Jesper. It's the guy that did the painting I just showed you on the wall. Um, great use of color. Like, super... I just love, like, his blues are so, like, bright and sky blue, and then, it, and then it all sort of, like, comes into the rest of the colors. Like, ah, it's gorgeous. Great, great art. I think he did all the basic lands in Ikoria. Um, Cool, 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 cool. Opening the Japanese cards are weird, because it's like, you know, so much of the experience of opening cards for me is like, oh, what, they, what do they do? It's pronounced Jesper. Okay, my bad. Uh. 
I open. I open the pack. Sorry. I'm, somebody was complaining the other day that I was making like moaning noises when I was opening this shit. Oh, look at this. The little tokens and they're Japanese. That's great. Ugh, it's, it's the stupidest. Hey, a little foil land. I'll take that. Another. Oh, it's a fucking triome. Wow. I'm so not used to the normal triome art that I was like, what the hell is this? Nice, dude. They literally just called it a triome. Nice. I I love this art. Who is this? Brian Sola. I love this one. It's just so cool. It's like it's very like I don't know. There's something very like shonen anime about it. It's like this is me and my fucking lion friend or whatever, and we're gonna fight together, and we both get plus one plus one. So fuck you, little Garrison cat. <laughs> Meow. Little plummet action. Got that migratory great horn. This is fucking bane of my existence. When this fucker shows up, I'm like, ugh. Ugh. Dream, dream. He Does that seem like, is he like cropped down a little bit? That's weird. Well, I'll take a triumph. I'll take a triumph all day, any day. That's a easy, oh, sorry. My bag of, my bag of sleeves is over here. I should sleeve this uh, Japanese mountain too. Hmm. Very, very sick, very slick, very cool, very awesome. Emmanuel Rivera! Ow! Oh, once again, spreading that positivity question. Most important thing to do and see in Japan. Love you guys. Most important thing to do and see in Japan? What you want. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Um, nature, man. I mean, that's the that's a great thing about Japan, man. It's like, you know, you take a take a train and then you're in the fucking most beautiful nature you've ever seen and then you're go downtown and you're in like the coolest city you've ever been in like mm. um uh i mean obviously go to akihabara that's the jam um let's turn the temperature a little bit on here yeah i like the it's, it's a little warmer there we go um yeah, man, what, it's, it's Japan, get some ramen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess because whenever somebody asks me that, it's like, it's exactly what you would think. Like, go and do the things that you want to do, and they'll be awesome. Go look for toys. Go look for cards. Go look for arcades. They're all awesome. Um, every time you see one, you'll be like, this rules. Um, go to Nakano Broadway. Okay, how about that? Go to Nakano Broadway. Uh, it's a, it's a like a like a four phone call. Um, did the stream go away? That's annoying. Um, Nakano Broadway. So uh, yeah, I was getting a phone call. Uh, it's it's in a place called the Nakano, which is not Nagano. That's a that's a completely different region. Um, Nakano is like a it's the west of like Tokyo and Shinjuku um not a very interesting town uh i i i always tell the story of um you know you go to Nakano Broadway and it's like oh neat and there's all this shopping and there's like restaurants and and then in the interior there's like a ton of mandarake stores which is like a it's like a nerd store they sell everything they sell cars they sell figures they sell anime manga you know art books um and so there's tons and tons of those and then little offshoots there's like places in that in that mall that sell like anime cells there's it's just there's everything is there knocking on broadway kicks ass it's so easy to just like drop so much money there they have tons of electronic stuff there too um it's just a real fun cool place and it feels kind of like off the beaten path um, just get used to squat toilets because most of the toilets there are squat toilets. Um, I so I I go there every time I go to Japan and like I went there like early, and so you know I had a lot more time and I was like, man, you know I don't know anything about Nakano. Like all I know is Nakano Broadway, so maybe I should like look up shit to shit to do in Nakano, and uh, so I googled like things to do in Nakano. And number one on the list was Nakano Broadway. Number two on the list was Ride the Bus. <laughs> so 
I was like, okay, there's nothing to do here. <laughs> so I just went home after I enjoyed that, mm, that mall area. Okay. <clears throat> Sledgehammer, thanks. Ever thought of doing Girl Chain of Paradise again? I have thought of it, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If I do do another Girl Chan in Paradise, it would, if I do do, um, it would be something different. It would be some other, like, brand or some other thing. And, you know, maybe I might throw, like, Ken Star in there or something. It's like a cameo or whatever. But, um, yeah, I think Girl Chan's pretty much, pretty much done. Um, I appreciate that, though. I fucking love Girl Chan. Um, e e Emon Cole. Thank you. Wasn't planning on donating, but Aaron hand, Aaron's, hand, Aaron's hands are too dang nice. Thanks, bud. My hands are just okay. KP, I went to Japan just before Backstreet Boys and even got to play Magic with people there. It was amazing. Can't wait to go. Wow, you got to play Magic in Japan? That sounds fucking awesome. Ugh. Thank you. Uh, the Chemist. Thank you. Wow, that's... Thank you. Um, if you talk a little quieter, you could start a new career as a Magic ASM artist. <laughs> That's great. All right, hold on. Yeah. Um. So here we have the um. In in Dotha Trial. Um, it's a great land. You can tap it for white, black, or green mana. Um. A really great choice. Next we have the Labyrinth Raptor. Um, the Labyrinth Raptor is great for menace decks. Um, I think I've got a little hair on there or something. Wait, is that, is that a hair in there? What is that? What's going on? There's like a fucking mark on this card. Are you seeing that? Did I get like pen on it? I didn't, I didn't hit it with a pencil, did I? What the fuck? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sorry, I broke character there for a little bit to explore the fucking card. Um, <clears throat> uh, I have undies. Thank you, man. Been a fan since NG days. Thanks, man. Glad to know uh, you're playing MTG too. Been playing since RTR. The art in MTG is just too good. Have some Philippine pesos. Mmm. Hell yeah. Philippine pesos. Is that what they're called in the Philippines? Pesos? That's interesting. Mmm. Uh, thank you to ITL2025. Have you considered streaming MTG Chandelar? I don't know what that is. Um, so no, I haven't considered it, but I have now. Uh, Ma Manga Waffle. Hi, Aaron. Got my first booster box today. Hey, congratulations. En enjoy the addiction. Uh, out of place. Good luck, homie. Hope you get Mecha Godzilla. I pulled Space Godzilla and freaked out. Oh, hell yeah. Space Godzilla is dope. All right. Let's do this, baby. Boom, boom. Uh, foil Mamba. Is that Z Zagoth? Zagoth Mamba? And what the fuck is this? I don't even know what this is. Something or... Oh, got to knock on the door. I think we're expecting a... a a perishable package, so I gotta go get that. I'll be right back. Perishable package has arrived. Ugh. Whew. 
Okay. Sorry about that. We, uh... <coughs> we were supposed to get it yesterday, and then it didn't come. So it came today. I wanted to make sure that we got it. Uh, because it is perishable. And it might already be, uh, ruined. <laughs> so... We'll see what happens there. What is this? Oh, snap! Okay. Sorry, this is a preview of coming attractions. I also got a piece of mail. Um, next week, uh, for Magic the Gathering streaming, uh, we're gonna do a collector's box extravaganza. Got a Theros collector's box right here, got an Eldrain collector's box here, and then a uh, pre-opened Acoria collector's box. So that's gonna be gonna be an extravaganza baby a little collector's extravaganza and this Acoria collector's box by the way um these are actually all individual packs they didn't come in a box because the theory that i'm always uh trying to test is that you get better pulls if it's not if it's supplementary oh man i had to run upstairs so i'm a little out of breath uh <coughs> excuse me oh god Whew. okay Catch my breath here. Just immediately, like, ran downstairs, ran upstairs with a bunch of boxes, um, and then started talking really quickly. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, better pulls from pre-release kits. Yes, I've, I've, I've definitely heard that. Uh, just leave this rare right here. Just leave this mamba. Oh, mamba number five right here. Let's take a look at these these other two. Uh, Alex Coro Coro Beniki Coro Coro Beniki. Uh, with respect, man, why do you buy expensive boxes when you can order singles? Just in terms of deck building efficiency, um, because I like opening boxes. That's that's the long and short of it. I just like the the experience of like getting polls and opening packs and organizing the cards. Like I just I like that experience. It's worth it for me. And plus the, like, the hit of getting, like, oh, man, I just got a big one. Like, that's... It's, it's, it's nothing better than that, man. Oh, love that art. Wow. Damn. You know, it really makes you... When it's in another language like this, it really makes you appreciate just, like, the art itself and, like, what's going on in the art. Because, like, so much of the card is, like, what card is that? What does it do? When it's, like, nah, man, just look at the fucking art, man. It's gorgeous. I always thought this was interesting because the background is so just like not it's it's so basic, you know, so it like really brings the that character out just like bam, there he is. Fucking Fred. Oh yeah, so fucking cool. Look at that. Badass. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep this going. Mmm. Mmm. Open up the pack. <clears throat> Why is everyone talking about Dan? Well, today is Dan's uh, seven-year anniversary with the channel. He's this to, on this day seven years ago. He was his first episode on Game Grumps. So congratulations to Dan for sticking it out for that long, dealing with my bullshit. <clears throat> mm. He is a real trooper, and I hope we can do it for years and years to come because it's. In terms of, like, professional projects of mine that I've been a part of, like, Game Rooms is, by and large, the, the most fun. <clears throat> so I'll do it forever. All right. <clears throat> Seven years? That's almost a decade. That's almost a millennia! Oh, shit. This is the, um... Uh, the, the fucking octopus. The sea... Sea whatever octopus. I don't even think I have this card in English. I only have the, like, alt art one because it shows up in those collector's boosters, like, all the time. That's awesome. I'll take that any day. I love this art. It's so cool. It's so, like, playful, you know? Just go, my foxy friend. And the fox is like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, the brush wag. My boy. Oh, that's that stroke. The Wanderer, man. Is this the only card the Wanderer got in this set? Like, it's, it seems so weird. It's like, oh, and the Wanderer's here, too, by the way. Like, yeah, they're, they're just here. Just 
slicing up some fucking monster. Mm. All right. Let's check out another pack. Mm. Mm. I suspected the Wanderer was a girl. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about, like, magic lore, so that's why I said they, because I was like, I think she's a girl, but I'll just say they. Um, the Wanderer's dope, man. Uh, oh, Yidaro. I have about five billion of these motherfuckers. God, what a fucking useless-ass card. I've never seen a single person use Yidaro, and I have so fucking many of them. Um, we got those fucking crystals, that Starix. This motherfucker's showing up in goddamn... De <laughs> Is this just <laughs> Sonic Adventure 1? He's just running away from the fucking Orca Whale? Did I already make that joke in uh, the, our previous stream? Uh, it feels familiar. Uh, dead boy. This Savai tiger. I always think this is like the Savannah Tigers from like the original Savannah Tigers, but then I'm like, oh, it's not. Or is it? No, it's the Savai Tiger. Yeah, Migratory Great Horn. Ugh, oh, love Serrated Scorpion. So good for those fucking aristocrat decks, baby. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yidaro is dope. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm sorry I bumped Yidaro, man. He's a fucking turtle. Look at him, man. He's a sick ass turtle. You know, I feel bad. It's like I haven't seen him, but it's like maybe somebody hasn't unlocked the potential of him yet. I mean, he's a 7-drop, 8-8, eight, eight. <laughs> so maybe that's a little hardcore. But he seems like he's got, like, a cool, uh, he's a trap card, apparently. Oh, tra he's got trample, sorry. <laughs> I thought it said trap, but it says trample. Um, yeah, man, Yidaro, I don't know. I'd love to see uh, Yidaro in action. I feel like the only way you'd be able to get him out is to cheat him, though. I mean, fucking 7-drop? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. He's a good boy. He's a hasty boy. All right. Uh, oh, man, we got a lot of fucking... One of these these actions going on. Um, Kyra Jones just cracking open some cold packs with the boys. It's just a couple bivvies with the boys. Uh, Izzy Starbright, thank you. Will you ever play a legit Fire Emblem game on Grumps? No, never. I don't know anything about Fire Emblem, so I don't know. Um, Sledgehammer44, I have been a fan, a long-time fan of your work. It kept my sanity in check when I st went stranded on an island. Whoa. That's, <laughs> like, like, like I'm imagining it, where it's, like, fucking cast away, or? Hey, don't fucking chew on peanuts. What are you doing? Moe, stop chewing on peanuts. Stop it. Moe, just chewing on fucking packing peanuts, dude. Knock it off. Knock it off. Stop chewing on peanuts. You're gonna fucking, you're gonna make yourself throw up. I mean, they're just, it's just starch, but. <laughs> what are you doing looking at me all coy? Like, what, man? They were good. <laughs> oh, man. You just show Moach? All right, I'll show you, show you a little Moach action. Hey, bud. <laughs> Moach, how you doing? <laughs> He's still looking at his chops from eating those fucking packy peanuts, dude. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing, man? Mm, God, that was good. <laughs> oh, man, I want some of that action going on. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh. Dude, he loves this. This fucking, like, head scritch shit. He's like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> He's a good boy. Yeah. Disney made a huge announcement? Yeah. Was it the Splash Mountain thing? Yeah. Yeah, that's great. I know. It's like, yeah, it's like fucking get that shit out of here, bro. I know. Fucking Princess and the Frog. Gets some, it's perfect. Princess and the, like half of that movie takes place in the bayou. It's like, no, oh, beautiful. I, I want to see the Dr. Facilier like dance number and ride form. I know. I it's I know it's perfect. Oh my god, it, it makes so much sense. I bet I bet there was somebody at Disney that was like try like pitching this idea for a long time. Dude. And they were just like, No, Splash Mountain's classic and then like everyone was like, Yeah, but it's racist and then they were like, Oh, okay fine, we'll do the <laughs> we'll do the Prince of the Frog thing. Get all those crusty animatronics yeah, get that fucking Brer Fox out of there who always addresses him by name. <laughs> 
that Onion article. I don't know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, all right, we got that Ruinous Ultimatum, I think is Ruinous Ultimatum. Goobidus Ultimatum, Ervitant Ultimatum, Fervity... Furberty flinging our ultimatum. We got Vivian riding a fucking thing. We got that Grim Dancer baby. Oh, a little glowstone alt art. Look at that fucking motherfucking glowstone recluse. A little spinnerets. <laughs> Sudden spinnerets. Wow. <laughs> All right. We'll get a little loopy over here. Of one mind. Ooh, we got another fucking alt art. We got Dreamtail Heron right there. And ah, oh, that's great for drafts. Just like pick them off. Just get them out of there. Poof. Dead eye. What's your who's it? All right. Uh, uh. Why is Splash Mountain racist? Um, it's based on a movie that uh, is is just not culturally appropriate today. It's called Song of the South. Um, just a just a lot of like slave mentions and stuff like that. It's like mm, not not the coolest thing in the world. Um, and also just like the caricatures of them are very, uh, you know very they're not great it's good it's great that we'll have some like nice representation and not like stereotypical old school representation um all right here we go oh oh <laughs> hold on a second hold on a second and we got fucking classification but who gives a shit oh my god i don't have this in fucking actual life world Whoa, this is some pog action right there, baby. Oh, a little cl uh, classification can suck my dick. But uh, which one is this? Which one is this? Vad Vadroth? Yeah, it's Vad... Wait. Vad Vadrock. Vadoroku. Vadrock. Fuck it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was just looking at it in real life, and then I was like, oh, I should probably show it to the camera. It's a little dark. I don't know. It's, I'm trying to get the light like right on it, but... Well, there we go. A little Vadrock action. Look at that foiling. God, that's gorgeous. So cool. It's like, and they make the foiling, like, the color of the, like, that's, like, straight up red, white, and blue foiling. Like, so fucking awesome, man. Wow. All right, I'll take that. That's a pog, baby. I don't know, I don't know what pog is, but it's fine. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing. <gasps> Wait, no, don't take the picture. Yeah, a couple of cards, all common cards. Who gives a fuck, dude? Oh, nice. That's pretty dope. Pretty dope art. From Pindersky. I don't know who Pindersky is, but they do some f sick, fine art right there. Uh -huh. Pog is piece of garbage. I don't know about that. Yo. All right. And Jen and oh, Whirlwind of Thought. I love this card. I love this card, but it doesn't hold a lot of value. Wingspan Mentor, also a card that really won me in a lot of drafts. Love Ominous Seas, too. So fucking dope. It's just like you just lay it down, turn two, and people are like, oh, no, there's a fucking Kraken coming. This shit sucks. Hexproof fucking Kraken over here. Love this one, too. Solid footing. Great. It's such cool art. Is that just, is that? No, it's Wisnu Tan. Nice. Fucking beautiful. I love how the, I love how he's not even that far away, like the creature it's not even that far away, and yet it's, like, still fading into the, the blue background. Like, it's just great, like, framing. Cool art. I hate this card. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just, just hate this face. All right. Whirlwind of thought, baby. Let's do it. Pog. What does Pog stand for? Hey, Aaron, what is that MTG art Dan mentioned he has hanging as decor in his house? I've been super curious since it was mentioned in a previous LP. Um, I don't know, actually, but they're all prints. He doesn't own any originals, um, which is, like, fine. That's not. There's no judgment behind that. I was just saying because I, I own some originals. Um, I'm not sure what art they are because um, I've... I, I mean, I've been to his house and I've seen his art, but uh, I wasn't into Magic the Gathering the last time I went to his house. Mm. And yes, I haven't been to his house in like eight months, so. <laughs> in all the time I've been in the Magic the Gathering. Um, he always just comes over here, man. That's the way you get to see him, he comes over here. I think he murders people in his basement. I'm just kidding, it's not a real thing. Uh, okay. Shoop, shoop. Oh, fuck! Oh, here we go, card number one. Oh, excellent. 
Excellent. It's not a foil, but you know what? And a fucking, and Mechagodzilla in regular form. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yes. Yes! This is the whole reason to get these fucking cards, is these three cards you can't get in America. Oh, excellent. Sleeve that, motherfucker. It's just a common, but, like, whatever, man. I can't get this in America. Awesome. I'm putting that in the fucking binder tonight. I'll show... I'll, uh, you know what? I'll do it. I'll, I'll put it in the binder on stream. Yes! Ah, oh, that's awesome. Very, very happy about that. And then all these fucking... Who gives a shit card? This card kind of kicks ass, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, it's my boy! Oh, this is the first Japanese boy I've seen! Fucking thieving otter. Look at this motherfucker. Coy ass motherfucker flying into the goddamn lake with this dude's gold piece. Like, oh shit, my fucking gold. Love thieving otter. This is this bad boy. Bad boy stealing shit. Great boy. Love him. Love that otter. All right. Let's get some more. Let's get some more Japanese exclusives here. We got Gem Razor. Who gives a fuck? Gem Razor sucks. Gem Razor sucks dick. I see one person use Gem Razor. Shit's dumb. I've got when I fucking drafted this set on MTG Arena, I would get Gem Razors handed to me. Fucking oh, that's the rare I got. Oh, that's fine. I'll just take this uh, uh, Rigo Leosaur then. It's like fuck Gem Razor. Shit sucks ass. Gem Rage is amazing in mono green, though. All right, fine. <laughs> I know I'm all, I'm all positivity. I just, whenever I get a gem, I, I think it's because I have so many of them. I have, like, ten Gem Razors, and it's like, please stop giving me this card. I don't, that and Cub Warden. Cub Warden's another one where it's like, stop giving me this fucking card. I don't want it anymore. I don't need it. I don't use it. Nobody uses this. Mm. Plus it ain't worth. Plus, plus it ain't worth shit. But it's cool. It's got dope art though, and the fu they they use it on the collector's booster art. The the the, the alt gem razor. It's just ha ha ha. I lick you. <laughs> so sick art at the very least. And which is that? Uh, Evolving Wilds, foil Evolving Wilds. That's pretty cool. Nice. Very nice. Some one of the ultimatums. Blue blue white blue white red. Um G Gigantorus ultimatum. Um uh Flagoogly ultimatum. Um cra cra Fantasia 2000 ultimatum. <laughs> I like that. That's great. Um Smackety Smackety ultimatum. Deal five damage, draw five cards, something else. Oh, is it the good one? People like that one? Uh, Vivian riding the dogs. We got uh, Bad Boy who becomes a double striker. We got Confused Fox. We got fucking Honey Elephant. We got Pooh Bear Elephant over here. He's like, oh, oh, bother. I've got honey all over my tusks. Like, it's a terrible Pooh Bear impression. It's the worst Pooh Bear impression I've ever done in my life. I do a better Pooh Bear impression, and that was terrible. Like, oh, bother. I've got honey all over my tusks. It's not what he sounds like. He doesn't sound like that at all. Uh, I like how nobody is giving me the real name of Ultimatum. I am actually quite pleased with that. I'm not kidding. I, th I think it's, I'm like looking over it and people are just like, it's Joe versus the Volcano Ultimatum. Ah, it's hot Ultimatum. <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, what the fuck? I don't, I, again, I don't even have this in, I don't, it's a foil alt art, no, fuck it, that's awesome. And we got Mythos of Brokos. Mythos of Brokos. Dude! Fucking nice! That's sick. Just leaving that bad boy. Look at that. That just fucking flat color foil, that's wild, man. Look at that, that's awesome. Come on, that's fucking cool. Oh, beautiful. Her eyes, too. Her eyes foil. That's fucking awesome. Hell yeah, man. Dude, these are some sick pulls from this fucking pack, man. I'm hoping we can get some, uh... Hoping we get some some of that Godzilla situation going out of here. Yeah, yeah dead weight, little blue, flaming, flaming dinosaur! Boom! Ugh. Ah! No, I can't... 
I did get one Godzilla. I got the Mothra boy. I got the, I got Mothra's cocoon. Mothra's egg. Mothra's baby. Mothra and the Seven Kingdoms. All right. Oh my God! Can you believe I pulled a human soldier, dude? Unbelievable. Hey, Karuga! Karuga mesh. Nice, dude. It's a fucking hippo dinosaur right there with his dang ass feet. Look at his fucking feet. Just like my feet are big. I don't know what else to tell you. They're just big feet. Is he the foot from Monstrous Step? That's what I want to know. Probably is. Got that flourishing fox. You get that cycling deck out there. Get some action going on. <laughs> Woo! Flourishing fox over here. Archipelago, baby! <laughs> what do they call him in Japanese? Niku Shokujima. I don't know if that's Archipelago in Japanese or not. Oh, Blazing Volley. Second fucking sick, dude. Yeah, I would love that. Dude. From uh, Hyunwa Cho. Choe. Fuck. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. I feel bad that I didn't pronounce it right. Um, fucking sick art, though. Dreamtail Heron, baby. Oh! Um, dude, we're getting some fucking awesome pulls, man. That foil Narset. That, 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 took, that, that took my breath away, man. Took my fucking breath away, bro. Uh, hey, putrefied, putrefied storm. Thank you. Uh, what let's plays are coming in July? Also, will you finish Majora's Mask this year? You have three. You have three years left. Uh, yeah, we're gonna finish Majora's Mask. Um, I don't know if it'll be this year. I think that's a series that we would want to finish in person. Um, and uh, coming in July, uh, probably a little bit more uh, multiplayer stuff, stuff that we can play online. Um, I'm thinking like maybe like a Resident Evil co-op game, you know what I'm saying? Like a five or a six. Um, that could be pretty fun. What do you think of that about that? Um, Severald Mindles fan one every time, man. Uh, hey queen, what are some hobbies you picked up during quarantine? Anything unexpected but super fun. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um, yeah, man, Susie's been getting me into painting. You know, I haven't done much, but, um, it's, it's something that very much interests me. Um... Playing a little bit of music, uh, writing music. I got an OP1. Um, I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's like a sort of an all-in-one DAW keyboard. Um, that's been fun. Um, uh, just just stuff to stuff for myself. You know what I mean? Um, acrylic painting. For anyone who's who's uh, curious. Um, and uh, that's about it, man. Just been. Trying to fucking relax, you know? Um, SM. Hey, Aaron, what is the MTG art Dan mentioned? Oh, I already answered that one. Thanks. Uh, ADD Dangerous. Or AD Dangerous. Uh, big PP polls. Nice. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Christian Maglio. Hey, Aaron, what's your favorite set in MTG? What's your favorite card? My favorite set is Eldrain. Um, Throne, as the hardcores call it. Love that set. Love all the art in the set. Love the alt art. Um, great cards in that set. Uh, lots of knights. I have a knights deck that's almost exclusively Eldraine cards. Love that set, man. Um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with that it's my first set. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's just it's just a great set. There's a lot of powerful cards in it, you know. Um, I, you know, people are like, well, it's not as powerful as Amonkhet or whatever, but um, I don't know, I fucking... I think Eldraine's dope. I just think it's neat. You know what I mean? Got fairies to be terrifying? Yeah, something like that. Good nights. Um, yeah, man. Eldraine. Eldraine's my favorite set. Uh, my favorite card. My favorite card is um, obviously Tragic Slip or Mulch. Uh, best cards. Christopher Muller can't beat him. Um, Matthew Arnott, thank you. Hey, Aaron. Uh, my mad lad mate Angus has a second date with that girl from last week. Can you work your juju again and get him a third? Much love from Straya. Hey, I'm I'm giving him some I'm giving him some positive energy, dude. I'm giving him those vibes. Matthew Arnott's friend Angus, dude. Channel the beef. <laughs> get that get that date. Get that third date. Just be a gentleman, man. Just be a nice man to the lady. Make her feel safe. You know? Treat her like a human being. Um, 
that's usually, <laughs> I mean, that's the bare minimum, but, uh, just, <laughs> I, I believe in you, Angus. If you went on a second date, it seems like she likes you. Uh, SM, what MTG art does Dan have hanging in his house? Uh, I already answered that, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, I gotta, I gotta ask him to take pictures for me or something. Um, Danikin Street Rider, are you excited for Core 2021? I am very excited for Core 2021. I'm excited for any new Magic set because I love Magic. Um, Kel, Kellen, old Kel, make sure to contact who sold you the Collector's Ikoria to make good packs. Japanese only guys that look hard. Um, yes. Uh, well, so that, uh, those Ikoria Collector's boosters that I was showing you, these were actually bought individually. They weren't bought as a collector's box, so I'm not entitled to those cards. And the dude that I bought my original collector's boxes from still hasn't sent me those fucking Godzilla cards, and I keep sending him messages, and he's like, they're coming, man, I'm sorry. And I'm like, dude, it's... My LGS that was closed during quarantine and is now reopened is like, yeah, we still got them. And it's like, fucking, what the hell's going on with you? I, I mean, I guess the scale of it, like he sold hundreds of them or whatever, so I get it, but... Anyway, it's still frustrating. Uh, Alex Coro Bainiki. Also legit dude, you've made my life easier to deal with in general. Been a fan of yours. Thanks for existing. LOL, Coro Bainiki is the Tetris song. Oh. It's a... um, anyway. Uh, oh, Sledgehammer 44. I never, I, apparently I went off topic when I was talking about your... Because I I don't remember reading the second book. There's a guy that was stranded on an island, and I was like, "What? Uh, how, uh, he he has nightmares of me yelling in my street sleep for more M and M's. I hate M and M's. I'm not a big M and M's fan. I know there's a big meme of me eating M and M's and saying more, but uh, and I'm not a I'm not, I don't like M and M's. Question: Have you and Danny ever smoked the Mary Jane together? No, no, we have not. Um, it's scary, and I don't like it. I'll try it again someday. Talahav999. Hello, Aaron. Thank you. <laughs> Hello to you, too. Uh, Kai White, you and Dan play 51 Clubhouse games. It's so fun and entertaining. Honestly, it might be my favorite series, especially Hanafuda. Thanks, man. That's been super fun to play, and we're going to play some more. I was actually playing a ton of Othello last night with some some random guy. It was one of those guys where, like, I kicked his ass... And I was like, I'll rematch this guy just, just to, you know, give him a, a second chance if he wants one. And he did, and I was like, great. And then he beat me, and then I was like, oh, it's fucking on now. And then we just kept, we kept rematching each other, like, it had to be like ten times. Like, it was just like, man, fuck, I, I like playing this guy, he's like right on my level. Like, we were really trading wins and losses. So, uh, I, we just kept playing over and over. His name was Dante, and he had a, um, he had a Goron icon. It was the it was the 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 Goron god from uh, uh, Breath of the Wild. Um, all right, that seems like all of them. We got Karakuri. Hey Aaron, have you ever tried Mill or Zombies or both? Yes, I've tried Mill. I haven't. I have a a standard Mill deck that's pretty vicious. Um, I don't use it though. I used it at the beginning because I was like, oh, it's a way to win, and yeah. But now it's like I don't know. I don't like playing against Mill. And it doesn't feel good to win with a mill deck. So I just don't do it. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got fucking Mothra's Cocoon foil, but just a regular, regular bad boy. Mysterious egg or whatever. And then we got that Mythos of Vad Vadrock. Mythos of Vadrock. And then that Porky Parrot who's always fucking screaming. <laughs> oh, I love this art, man. If this... if who is it? Johannes Voss. If Johannes Voss sold this painting, I would I would absolutely get I, this is my favorite art from Arcoria period. It's so beautiful. I love it. Love this. Such a great sense of like adventure and like wonder and like you know, there's like a like the figure in the foreground with the bird and the and the bird riders just so fucking cool. Ugh, and like the dark and the light contrast with the city with it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I love that art. All right, plummet. And we got a little Vulpakeet over here. Just, haha, I'm a Vulpakeet. <laughs> it's just something very, it's like, yeah. So what? <laughs> uh, all right. 
put those commons over there and sleeve these bad boys. Put the egg over here and put the mythos over here, a little mythos of Edra Rogue. <laughs> mm. We're about halfway through. Damn, dude. All right. <clears throat> Earl Grey J, thanks. My neighbors both work for Magic the Gathering. Wow, one is an artist and the other is a rules manager. I love watching these streams. Hey, tell them I said hello and that I love their game. Uh, the Real Frankage, thank you. Hey, Aaron, play against my Thalid Commander deck. Foil Judges, Promo Doubling Season, Gaia's Cradle, Thalon of Havenwood. Jeez Louise. How do you, do you pay rent? <laughs> I, I shouldn't be one to talk. I'm spending so much money on these goddamn cards. Um, all right. Here we go. Oh, extinction event. Who cares? What the fuck is this thing? Kumono. He's angry, dude. Fucking shooting lightning out of his hands and shit. Little parcel beast action. You got wilt over here. You got fucking push through, punch through, ram through. We got the guy who's getting his hand eaten by the beast in the background. That ignoble beast over there. And that's that's that. All right, extinction event. I'll take it. Extinction event. Whatever. Extinction event. Huh? Extinction event. Hey. All right. The regular version of Death Corona. Which one? Oh, this one. Oh, it's um, Void Beckoner. Got it. Got it. Who cares? If it's not Godzilla. Oh, we got Kinnon. That's a sick pull right there. Nicely done. Fucking sick mythic right there. Oof. Just leave that bad boy. He's got kind of a doofy face. You ever looks at him? He's just kind of like, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> I'm Kinnon. I don't know. Kinnon could be a girl, I guess. Oh, Kinnon. I've got my little grabby wand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just kidding. It's always... All right. All right, there's a pouncing shore shark, which is not as interesting as the real... I mean, it's a great piece of artwork, but the, the fucking original pouncing shore shark was just a shark with human arms <laughs> just fucking diving out of the water. Uh, I love that. Another serrated scorpion. Love that shit. All right. Uh, you know, we're, we're always looking for the slip, man, but I don't think this set has any slips. Christopher Muller's retired, so there's no more. Oh, baby boy. Motherfucking Vivian. I'll take that shit out of that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. A little mythic action right here. Vivian with the fucking auspicious Star X over here. Whatever the fuck that thing is. The spikes is lots of ears. Vivian? I would read you what she does, but I cannot read the language of Japanese. Damn, those are two mythic pulls, one after another. That was pretty dope. And, like, really soon after that Narset pull. Pretty sick. <laughs> I'll take that. Aw, so sweet. I feel like there's, like, five different cards where this is, like, the concept of the art. Where it's just like, I love you. And then the creature's like, dude, just stop touching my nose, dude. This is really embarrassing. Oh, we got that trumpeting gnar. Is that is that what that one is? The trumpeting gnar. This the art for this one is like, oh wow, what a majestic beast. And then the the alt art one where it's like the comic book art, it just is disgusting. Like there's just goo coming off of his face and shit, and he's just like, oh, like uh, I'll show. You. Oh yeah, that's my boy. I'll have to show you one if I find it. I mean, why wouldn't I show it to you? You think I'm gonna hide it from you? Ah, uh. Day Noda, thank you. Hey, Aaron, don't understand most of these words, but glad you're having fun. Just ordered a grump shirt. Can't believe how fast the water bottles sold. Dude, the fucking water bottles. Let me tell you a thing about the water bottles. First of all, we did not expect them to be so popular. Second of all, the the problem with them is they're so... Like, we can get a shipment of shirts, and they all stack up on each other, and you can, like, store them really well. But water bottles, I mean, it's it's... You know, it's it's fucking this. It's it's this. One of them is this, which is so much space. And so we can only order so many at a time. And, and then they fucking sell out, like, instantly. So we keep trying to... I think we're just going to have to, like, do, like, a rolling order on them or something. Because they're just... They keep... It's a great bottle. 
Um, I use mine. Uh, so, yeah, so, so we hear you. We hear how much you fucking love the water bottle. Believe me, it's like we... <laughs> It's like when, that's the thing is when people are like, oh, it sells out too fast. And it's like, why? Well, I, I would love to sell you more things. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, if, if we had the amount of stock to, to, to give you the items that you want and not have them sell out, that would be awesome. But we just never expect those things to sell out. So, um, I really appreciate that everyone loves the water bottle. <clears throat> All right. Bonders Enclave? Is that that one? I don't know. Whatever. Boring. Frilled, whatever. We got that giraffarid. Giraffe, giraffe, giraffe do. She's like, gotcha. Uh, a little giraffe do. There's something very similar about these two pieces of artwork that's strange. It's like the angle, the camera focal point area. A little Bonders Enclave. Lame. We were still looking for that. Still looking for that, uh, for that mother effing Mecha Godzilla. Oh, little Narset's reversal there, foil and a Yorian. Useless now because everyone hates the command. The the companions, fucking nerfed to shit. But I'll take that Yorian. That's sick. And Narset's. Reversal, removal, reversal, reversal, removal. I love that they foil the color. That's so cool. The red, white, and blue foiling. Ah, or I guess it's just red and blue. So awesome. Yorian still sees play? Oh, that's awesome. Good for him, man. He is good. I mean, you know, four or five that flickers, that's great. Um... I still feel, you know what, uh, let me pose a question to you, because I see this, and I see a five drop that flickers once, and then I see Thassa from Be Theros Beyond Death, and she flickers every turn, and she's cheaper, she's a four drop, I think. So, like, what's the, what's the, why are people like, fuck yeah, Yorian, and like, Thassa's not so... It flickers the whole of your side. Oh, it flickers everything. Got it. I didn't know. That's I've fought so many Yorians before, and I never. I don't know how I didn't notice that. Hmm. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <clears throat> and Thass only flickers creatures. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. All right, oh, I love the Duskfang mentor. It's so cool. The fucking purple hair and the that goes with like the purple scales on the or the purple spikes on the creature. So awesome. And yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen all these god dang commons. We've seen all these god dang commons. Oh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Aaron, tell me, what is it about magic that appeals you to to you versus every other card based game? Um. Every card-based game appeals to me. Have you seen my Pokemon collection? <laughs> I just don't stream about it. Here, let me give you a little. Let me give you a little taste. Let me give you a, uh, a little taste of this action right here. Pokemon. You got a bunch of cards right here. You got a bunch of Pokemon, Pokemon cards. You got some some Pokemon. You got a lot of V V V V boys. We got some Blazikins. We got some. Uh, Persians and some secret foil rares or whatever. We got some Cobalians. We got some, some bad boy Ians, some Pikachu. I love these. Oh, so cute. These fucking this card is so cute. Got god dang Executor. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> He's got a silly face and everything. Do I have like a really rare card? That red and blue card's pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, I got a lot of Pokemon cards, dude. I love Pokemon cards. I got I got I got my old gym trainer cards, my gym hero cards from Japan. Um, I used to collect these when I was a kid. These are the cards that I had when I was a kid. Um, these, these Gym Heroes cards. Um, still, still worth a pretty penny. Uh, these bad boys. And they're in, like, perfect condition. I, I, I sleeve them right... Oh, there's Misty's Tears, the, the band card, because you can see Misty's little titty. I might get copyright strike for that, but... Uh, or copyright strike, content strike. 
<laughs> who's got who's got the copyright on Misty's Titty? Um, yeah, so I I love I love Pokemon cards. I've got um, I'm, I'm trying out a lot of new cards. You know, there's the Final Fantasy card game. Uh, and then um, so I want to try that. And I, I play some KeyForge. Susie likes playing KeyForge. Um, you know, she plays Magic sometimes with me, but she'll play KeyForge with me usually every time I ask. Hmm. Oh, I love the gym. I love the gym set. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually have the entire uh, Gym Heroes set. Where is it? I kind of want to show it off because it's my it's my jam. Here it is. <sighs> Sleeved every single one because I I absolutely love this set. This set was just like pure nostalgia for me. Just every. I love these Gym Hero cards. It's just the art on them is so fucking classic, and it's so solid and clean. Like, I feel like they really... Because there's something about this set that where it was, like... It was, um... I don't want to say, like, homogenous, but, like... It felt like there was a real unity to these cards um, that the other sets hadn't had yet. Like, they felt very, I don't know, like, chunky. All the art was like really chunky and and uh, like watercolory and so I I I love Jim Heroes. It's such a great set. <clears throat> anyway, oh my new card channel, which will be uh, um. Magic Gathering and Pokemon and maybe other stuff is called uh, it's called Shuffle Master, and um, I've already done the branding and stuff. I just gotta make it make it happen. Just gotta make it real. Gotta start streaming on it. Um, all right, here we go. Oh, Japanese Triome Alt Art, beautiful. That is really that actually feels very appropriate. Like something about like how the the text was treated and how it looks on this back. This this feels like really beautiful. What a great card. And then we got this other shit. And we got this other... I love her, though. Uh, yeah, this other shit. Other shit. Who cares? All we want, the Triomes. We want the Triomes. We want the Godzillas. Baby. We're only down to this many. So let's see if we can get a Mecha Godzilla. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> if, you, if you tell me to not to moan when I open the cards, I'm just going to do it more. Um, okay. Oh, we got another ultimatum, baby. This one's a uh, dubious ultimatum. Um, uh, blot out the sun ultimatum. Our arrows will blot out the sun. And then this fucker. Hornbash mentor, I think. Oh, there's the gross trumpeting gnar. There's a, fuck there's a majestic-ass creature that's like, I'm the trumpeting gnar. Blah. And then this shit is just like... <laughs> so disgusting. I hate it. Oh man, nothing good, nothing good, nothing good. I mean, it's just commons and shit now. You know, I, I sometimes I think like, man, in the future, is there gonna be like people are gonna look back on like a Coria and be like, oh man, the common, the serrated scorpion or whatever. It's like, dude, that card's worth like five bucks. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. Ooh, voracious great shark. A little uh, little counterspell creature there. A little That's a really expensive uh, frilled mentor. Uh, we, got, we got some flying foxes. We got some dranith whatevers. We got another serrated scorpion. I'll take the scorpion. Voracious great shark can suck my dick. This is also a card that I think should have been a Godzilla creature. Like, I don't know. I don't know what it would be. There's just something about it. Whenever I see it, I'm like, which one's the Godzilla one? And it's like, I don't know what it is. Alright. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, we got Everquill. We got we oh my god, what a pack. We got foil Yidaro, and then we got a full art Everquill. Holy shit. That's fucking awesome. And then let's just fucking oh, another dream tale. Very nice. Nice fucking pack, dude. I got that's what is that? Two foil? That's that's like Three foil rares and a foil mythic, like good, good golly, Miss Molly, like I'll, I'll take it, I'll take that all day. 
This box kicks ass. Thanks, Kellen. You're fucking killing it for me. Woof. Good god. Two foil mythics. What was the other foil mythic that I got? Oh, boy. Now I got a... Yeah, we got fucking Vivian and Kennen right after one another. Uh, got that Crystalline Giant. Oh, that's right. We got that fucking Vadrock. God damn, man. What a fucking box. We got Winota, too. Damn, dude. Very nice. Very nice. Still no Mechagodzilla, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get, get rid of that shit. Fuck that. That's out of here. That's I don't want to see that shit. I mean, I'll I'll sleeve it because it's a rare, but I don't I don't want I don't want anything to do with that shit. Get it out of here. Fuck it. Gross. All right. And we got uh, got a bunch of other. Oh, we got the otter. Hey, how many fucking otters can we get? All right. All right. Oh, what was wrong with creation? This guy, the artist, Noah Bradley, he's a, a serial abuser. Very publicly, like a like a gross alt-right dude who, like, tweets out shit about how to manipulate people and stuff. Like, very uncool. So, not a fan. He gets turned over. No fucking representation for that art. Hey, we got a cyclone! Who cares? And we got this bad boy right here. Oh. Oh, sick. Oh, my God. I'm loving this. I'm loving every pack being an otter. If I got an otter in every pack, I don't think I would have to, um, like, do anything that would make me happy anymore. I would just have the thieving otter. Mmm. All right. All right. Oh, nice. I don't know. There's something about this... Getting this token that's like, oh, this is a rare token. Oh. An ang 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 angris. What the fuck is his name? Ang angris? This is nice. And we got a hunted nightmare. Wow, nice. That's fucking awesome. That's a good little pet. Oh, God, that art is so fucking creepy. I love that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, fuck yeah. Look at the foiling on that. That looks like a... That doesn't even look like a magic card. That looks like something else. Like some kind of like collector's card or something. You know, like, oh, man, you know, you get the Pokemon cards that aren't the, like, Pokemon TCG cards. They're just, like, images of Pokemon. Armored... Armored... Anguinus. Anguinus. Yeah. Anguirus. There we go. Oh, wait, what was the other... Oh, oh, the Cyclone. Oh, I didn't even know that. Ugh, pff, turn it over. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. Blech. <laughs> I spit on it. You know what? I got enough fucking... I got enough fucking Cyclones where I can just be like, bitch, get this shit out of here. I don't even want this. Gross. All right. Boom, boom. Triome. Jeskai Triome. I don't know what this is. Ra Raugurin. Ra... Ra rag raggrin. I don't fucking know. Little panther baby. Oh, oh. I'll take that. I'll take that baby. I love this one. It's so like enchanting. You know, it's like I just want to be there. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. There's no commons that are impressing me anymore. Just flip through them. Just, just fucking ram through them, baby. Oh. All right. Oh. Extreme disrespect. Fuck yeah, man. I disrespect people who disrespect women. Oh, fuck. Yo, did I just fucking... Did I just fucking all women are queens? I think I fucking did, baby. Because it's the goddamn truth. Mm. Alright. <clears throat> oh, worthless. Fucking worthless. Yeah, and then I love this guy though. This this fucking the uh, makes all legendary humans indestructible. It's so good, it's so good. Frost length, little far finder, little fa this fucking nerdy ass guy who's just like, oh, I'm Dave, and this guy's like, ah, Hi, Dave. <laughs> you you really want you want to like talk or like what do you want? He's just like, 
you know, I just like hanging out. And he's like, oh, God, all right, Dave. You can hang out, I guess. Anyway, here we go. Mmm. Boom, baby. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I love when I get the feather token, too. This is beautiful. I mean, come on, it's just a token, but, like, it's fucking gorgeous. All right. You know, it's, it is interesting to me that tokens are common, right? Like, because you only get one per pack. So, I mean, that's the same rarity as a rare. I guess because there's only, like, what, 12 of them or so? Well, it says right here. There's 13 of them. But still, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem like, it seems like it should be at least uncommon, you know? Ooh, soul, soul howler, soul howler, howl. Hey, he's got the electricity on his fucking tummy. Goddamn electric otter. Oh, I showed Susie that the other day, and she was like, um, is that the best card I've ever seen? Uh, I guess Splendor Mare and motherfucking commons. Who gives a shit? We got the motherfucking goddamn fucking... Otter action here. Love it. Oh, wrong, wrong stack, you dingus. Oh, look at this bad boy. Lutri! Ah, oh, so cute. Ha <laughs> ha. I zap you with my tummy. <laughs> I love him. Hey, we got one more pack left, and um, I am not seeing a Mecha Godzilla. Oh. But maybe maybe we're getting lucky in the last pack. Maybe we're getting lucky. We did get that we did get the Mothra's cocoon. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. I'll take the shit out of that. A little Nethroy action going on here. Oh. Oh. Just leave that bad boy and put that up there. That's fucking sick. You seen this shit? Look at that. That's fucking sick, that is. God, he looks sick. <laughs> oh, I've got the vid. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be joking about that. Um... Okay. And the fucking migratory great horn. He's just... Ah! Dude, he's like fucking... He's like, turn it up, I love this song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. Hey, that was it for Ikoria, man. Oh, fucking box topper. What the hell am I thinking? Ugh, got the box topper, dude. Ah, all right. Mm. Okay, it's face down. All right, so I'm really hoping for that Mecha Godzilla. Um, and to a lesser extent, Batra. Uh, but, uh, what do you think? Make your guesses now. Make your fucking guesses. And if you guess for Mechagodzilla, then that will increase the odds of me getting it. I will say that. So put him in. Mothra. I would love a Mothra. That would actually be great. Ghidorah. I would love a Ghidorah too. Baby Godzilla. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably the likely one. Mmm. Black Lotus. I think it's coming. Mechazilla, Mechazilla, Mechazilla. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, a foil Mothra. Okay. All right. You know what? It's a common, but fuck it. Like, a foil. That's, that, that's dope. I'll take it. Like, I'm actually into that. Let's fucking sleeve it and put it in the goddamn folder. Um, yeah, let's, let's bust out the folder now. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Oh, baby bad boy. Baby, baby bad boy over here. Here's my Ikoria binder. Um, it's mostly foils. I try to keep all the cards foil. Um, let me see if I can back this up a little bit. Go back that ass up, you know what I'm saying? Um, all right. It's uh, pretty good. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm missing missing some, some promo cards. Let me see. There we go. Missing some promo cards, uh, but that's fine. Uh, a little Godzilla action going on down here. And then, of course, I, I you know, I, I just like putting the tokens in. I don't know. There's something about the tokens that are just it's like, oh, it's nice to see them all lined up. All right. So Mothra is 8385. So right here behind Space Godzilla. Let's throw that bad boy in there. And there, there they are. There it is. So fucking cool. And then we got Batra and Mecha Godzilla coming. I also have um I did go to my LGS, of course, masked up. 
and got the um, the other Mecha Godzilla. Uh, let me see if I can. I think it's in this binder. Uh, where is it? There it is. Mecha Godzilla Battle Fortress. Fucking dope ass card. Let me just. Look at that bad boy. It's Hanger Back Walker. That's that's what it is. But they released this as a thing to get people to come into their LGS or whatever, and then hilariously that completely backfired. So um, at my LGS, it was like spend 50 bucks or something, and then we'll give you one. And so they did. So that's how I got mine. Hmm. All right. So that was great, man. I mean, we got like fucking mythics at the wazoo on that on that box. I mean, let's 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 go through these. We got that. Yeah, we got that Anguirus. We got this bullshit that nobody cares about. Um, we got that foil Yidaro, which I literally have like twelve of. Um, we got that Vivian mythic number two. We got Kinnon mythic number three. We got that foil alt art Narset mythic number four. I mean, Christ, right? Like, amazing. We got Foil Mythic Vadrock. Amazing. We got Winota. A fucking value mythic, if ever there was one. So look at that. That's a fucking... In terms of, like... Holy shit. I mean, two Foil Rares. One of them a box topper. Like, damn, dude. Two Foil Mythics. What a fucking box, man. Thank you, Kellen. You fucking rocked that. Rocked that. That bet that yes, that box was stacked. Don't hide that comment. Show it. Ricky Lee Barnett Jr. Alright. So let's move on to New Phyrexia. Which I'm very excited for. Gotta get that um what the hell was it called? The super duper de duper smackety duper? What do they call it? Um Let's go through some super chats though. Uh Rusty Ralston. Thank you. Uh, now I want to get Hanafuda cards. Thanks, Aaron. Also, nice name from an Aaron with a different spelling. Yes. Hey, man. Um, uh, kindred spirits to all those Aarons out there. Joseph Mangano. Uh, I don't play Magic the Gathering, but I think you're a cool dude, Aaron. Thanks. Thanks, Joseph. I really appreciate that. It's a, you know what? That, that, that hits different. That hit different. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, Elish Norn is what we're looking for in Phyrexia. And we're also looking for Batter Skull. We're looking for Karn the Liberated. Um... Karn Liberator. Karn Liber... Something about Liberation and Karn. Uh, we got Sheol Dread. There's a lot of... There's a lot of value cards in here. I'm expecting y'all to be my... My... My uh, value checker on this one. Because I'm not familiar with the set at all. So I'm, I'm really going to be looking to you guys. So hopefully y'all can help. Uh, Rusty Ralston, thank you. Oh, yeah, I already did that. And I did Joseph Mangano. Uh, Jessica Simeka. Are you excited for the Scizor V and VMAX card in Infinite Zone? Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing, and I love Scizor, and I'm very excited now. Way back when, I gave Dan a Scizor Hollow to give to you. I hope you got it. I'm pretty sure I got it. We have all of our Pokemon cards in the office right now um, that are getting sorted, because we wanted to do a thing where... I asked on Twitter for people to send me the Pokemon cards they didn't want, and the whole idea was that like we were going to value them and then donate whatever we valued to charity. So um, we just didn't get around to it because we needed, like... It was a lot of manpower to like go through all the cards and value them, um, so it just took a long time. And then this shit happened, so nobody's in the office. Um, team Gentle Mentalman, all women are queens. Hell yeah, I fucking love that. Kaylee Zengel, hey Aaron, I hope you're having an awesome day. By the way, do you think you guys would ever restock the body pillows? I would love to have one. Um, I believe there is a plan to restock the body pillows, so stay tuned on that one. Um, why did this happen? Okay, uh, Brianna Kelly, thank you. You've been a part of my life for a long time, and I love these vids so much. Thank you. Thank you, Brianna Kelly. Uh, Squeegee, hey, man. Hope everything's going well. Hope everything's going well for you, too, man. Uh, Frontier Gamers, if you made a card game, what mechanics would you put in it to make it unique? Uh, you know, I don't know yet, but I'm thinking about making an RPGs card game and i would love it to play as if you're playing like an old school or R R rpg um like an old snes era rpg so 
I don't know how possible that is, but that would be the starting point. Um, Frontier Gamers again. Hey, Aaron, how's it going? Just got my Animal Crossing shirts and water bottle a few days ago. Hope you're doing well on your end. Thanks, man. I love that shirt and I love that water bottle. We've been putting out some pretty awesome merch lately. I mean, not to toot my own horn, but... Um, I mean, it's, you know, it's the merch team. Like, they're fucking incredible. Um, but yeah, I've been really happy with the merch that's been going out lately. I think it's been dope. Uh, Major Chonkers. Hi, Aaron. You're an amazing human. Thank you. You've helped me get through losing my parents. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what I'm doing with my life anymore, but watching you over the years has always made me laugh. Thank you. Hey, man, you know, it's, it's, it's always a fucking... Pe like, grief is a unique thing, man. Like, everybody gets through it differently, but we all get through it in the end. And uh, I know you will, and uh, that's a really tough thing to go through. I know I've been around that a lot. There's a lot, been a lot of people in my life lately that have lost somebody, um, including my wife. Uh, so it's, I know how tough it is. So man, you, you fucking find the light, man. And don't, and don't feel bad about grieving what you've lost, man. That's, that's a tough thing. Uh, Toxic Toucan. What's your fave deck to play with? I've got a tribal dino red, green, white deck with G Gishoth as my commander that I love to bits. Um, you know, I have a knight's deck that's like mostly Eldraine knights that I love, 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 love. Um, but I've actually been having so much fun with this like Ixalan dinosaur deck that I did. It's a it's a Boros um, enraged deck uh, that's just all about like creating dinosaurs and doing a bunch of damage um, by like hitting my own dinosaurs, uh, which is ugh, it's so much fun and nobody ever expects it. Um, uh, it's, so. Severald <laughs> Mittendles fan one again. Uh, name is Leona. Okay, cool. If I may ask, why is your ring silicone? My ring is titanium because I wanted it to last a long time. Good vibes for my marriage. Um, so we, Susie and I both originally had wedding rings that were traditional. I had a, like a silver ring with black diamonds in it. And Susie had a, like a, a really fancy, like big diamond ring kind of thing. Um, because I wanted to go all out for her. Um, my ring cracked down the center, so it was, like, pinching me. Um, and I was like, man, fucking... And plus, like, you know, like, weight fluctuates, um, and, like, sometimes it just, like, starts to get really tight on my finger, and sometimes it gets really loose. So I was like, man, fuck that shit. I'm just gonna get a silicone ring. And Susie did the same thing, because it's just... I don't even... It, I, I forget it's there, you know? Like, it's... It's very comfortable. Um, it doesn't get, like, gross and, like, dirty, and I have to, like, take it off and, like, polish it and shit. Like, it's just it's just nice. And, it, like, it looks pretty cool. Like, it looks like a wedding ring. Um, so that was the reasoning behind that. Uh, Primark Mike. Uh, hi, Aaron. What colors combinations best represent you in the Grumps crew? DD Lit Club playthrough is getting me through the week. Lots of love from Portland, Oregon. Love Portland. That's my favorite town in America. Um, color combinations I, uh, that best represent me um, I like a good Mardu deck man I, I have a couple Mardu decks it seems to come up a lot for me there's just something about the idea of like um, I don't know I guess Mardu is like it's kind of aggro and it has big damage mm. and a lot of removal um, Deinata again hey Aaron uh, don't understand most of these words but glad you're having fun just ordered a grump shirt can't believe how fast the water bottles sold yeah me neither man I, I went into a whole thing about that but yeah the water bottles were, were a real surprise hit like we really didn't expect them to do that well um, Jessica Semeca uh, hey Aaron any chance of you showing your Pokemon collection you mentioned it last stream I'm curious what your rarest card you have um, that's interesting. The rarest card that I have for Pokemon... I think the most valuable card I have for Pokemon is actually from Gym Heroes, which I was just showing off. It's uh, Blaine's Charizard. Um, I think this is like a 40 or $50 card. Um, but we have a ton of... I mean, I've got a base set Charizard at the office. Um, you know, the, the this is just my personal collection that I have here, and then we have like a ton of cards that people sent in to the office, and I actually have friends 
um, send me their Pokemon collections because they were like, yeah, I'm not doing anything with it. Here you go. Um, so I've, I've got some pretty sick cards at the office. Uh, yeah, Blaine's Charizard. I mean, this is the Japanese one. Um, I don't know about the American one. I don't know if that's like worth a ton or not or whatever, but um, yeah. And this is, I believe this is from the... No, it's not. Never mind. There's there's two different versions of Jim Hero cards. There's ones with and without rarity symbols because they released these sort of like pre-con gym decks. Um, and in some cases, the card without the the uh, rarity symbol is worth more. Um, so like Rhydon is... Actually, I, I think I can... Yeah, I've got them right within reach that I can show you. Um... Yeah, so uh, these are like the Gym Hero cards. So we got Nitto Queen here. She's got a rarity symbol, but this uh, Brock's Rhydon does not have a rarity symbol because he's from the uh, the, the pre-cons. Um, and yeah, same deal with this uh, Arcanine. Blaine's Arcanine doesn't have the rarity symbol, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, and Erica as well doesn't have the rarity symbol. <clears throat> so pretty weird, uh, pretty weird discrepancy there. I remember when I was a kid, I actually traded away... It wasn't a first edition Charizard, but it was a base set Charizard. I traded away for Blastoise. Um, which still, to this day, pretty valuable card now, but at, back in the day, it was like... That was stupid. Um, that Charizard, though, sucks. For anybody who actually plays Pokemon, that Charizard card, the like, first edition Shadowless Charizard, that shit sucks. It's a terrible card. Um... No, I gave away my Charizard. I, then maybe I wasn't clear about that. Um, oh, English Blaine's Charizard is eighty dollars in your mint. Nice. Uh, okay. Uh, Austin Barons, are you winning, son? I sure hope so. The real Frankage. Uh, hey, Aaron, play against my. Th okay, we already. Yep. Yeah, okay, cool. Got those. And oh, so many more ones. Holy shit. Um, Kyle now Schultz, stay funny, my man. You rule, you rule too, man. Hey, Harriet, once again, it's first Pokemon pack I ever bought. I got the rare Charizard card. I freaked out. What Yu Gi Oh cards do you have? If you learn to play, it'll be really like, um, I don't have many Yu Gi Oh cards, but I will show you if you are interested. Um, it's, it's really just like some pre cons and then these. So these are like some boosters that I opened. Um, and then these are all rares, so I've got the, these are, these are my Yu-Gi-Oh! And I don't know if any of these are, like, good or, like, super rare or anything. I just sort of opened them, and I was like, oh, pretty. I actually think Yu-Gi-Oh! cards are pretty fucking ugly. Um, it, it's, it's actually impressive to me that, um, that they've kept the same exact layout for the entirety of its run, um, pretty impressive if I do say so uh this one's pretty dope yeah these like these like cards were like you have to align them on the playing field and then summon them based on like where other monsters like I've, I've never played an actual game of Yu-Gi-Oh um so I don't I don't I really don't know anything about it but yeah these are the these are the cards that I have these are like the rares Nemesis Corridor. It just seems like it, it's like a it, like you know, and I don't mean to put this game down because obviously it's a great game, but it's just like it seems like some of these cards seem like a joke. <laughs> like, oh, and these are the two uh, secret rares I have. Pretty dope. Anyway, but yeah, it's like when I see like some cards like it's like this shit where it's like the fucking name doesn't even fit on the card. Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. It's like. Jesus, stop. And then what's the... What are the ones with, like, numbers on them? They just make me... They make me giggle. Uh, yeah, number 27. Dread, not Dreadnoid. Like, what the fuck is that? Lib... Lib the World Key Blade Master. Fucking... She's about to own the libs, dude. All right. <laughs> okay. I also find it strange that, um... I also find it strange that these cards are like really square. Like in recent years, I guess they've um, they've rounded the edges a little bit, 
Um, but like they're so square and they're so tiny. They just they feel so strange. It's such a strange feel to these cards. Um, all right. Anyway, thank you for that question. Uh, love showing off my cards. Yeah, I'm I'm so I'm so intrigued by Vanguard fight or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh. I have a friend that is going to teach me how to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and I really am excited to play um, because obviously it's survived for so long that it must be good. Uh, so I'm I'm excited to get to sink my teeth into Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, KP, awesome box. Now for new Phyrexia, I'm going to make a prediction of Elish Norn, pack 12. Oh, that's right. You called the last awesome set. Okay, so let's write that down. Uh, Elish Norn, pack 12. All right, let's see if KP gets it right. Uh, blank donated $2 and just said feet a bunch of times, so that's great. Uh, Sunao T, uh, love you, Aaron. Uh, SO from Hawaii, shout out. Okay. I'm such an old man. I don't know any of this. I had to figure that out as I read it. Um, come back. Oh, I love Hawaii. I would love to come back. Seeing NSP perform here was rad, but we'd love to see you too. Maybe a live show. Now that'd be dumb. Unless I would. I, there has been a plan to do like a live show, like Hawaii, Japan tour um, for Game Grumps. I don't know if anyone would show up, but um, that's been an idea that's been thrown around. Seven Beloved. Would you ever be up to play with fans on Arena? Uh, yes. I would love to do that. Um, LOL Job 1. Hi, Dad. Glad I could make the stream. How are you? I'm great, man. I love doing this. Uh, Sonic Dude 303. What CCGs do you play? Thanks for the years of joy. Um, in terms of a, a, like a, a regularly, I play Magic most aggressively. I play Keyforge and I play Pokemon. Um, and then other stuff is I'll, I will play. Uh, but those are the main ones. Kai White, once again. Okay, hear me out. Dan Cross Five Nights at Freddy VR. Or, of course, you could play it. But think of the screams. I'm slightly joking, but it would be rad. I didn't even know there was a Five Nights at Freddy's VR, so <laughs> that'd be interesting. Uh, Epic Lazy. Excited to see you open up some awesome boxes. There are a bunch of uncommons worth money in New Fire XD, so keep your eye out. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need y'all to call that out, because I don't know. Um... I don't know anything about any of the cards in here. Whenever we get to these kind of sets where, like, the uncommons are worth money, I'm like, oh, jeez, that's a lot. Uh, Kawaii Fur. Hola, Aaron Cito. Will you ever come to Mexico, or would that be too complicated? How does that even work? Um, I was supposed to come to Mexico this year for, for uh, Mexico VidCon. Or VidCon Mexico, or whatever it's called. Um... And uh, I was really excited for it because I've never been to Mexico. I've been to Baja, California, which is not Mexico. Um, mm. And uh, Puerto Vallarta, which I think is Mexico. Um, but I've always been excited about Mexico. I would love... To, I mean, Mexican food is just like... Stop. It's fucking beautiful. And like, I mean, it's just a beautiful place like in terms of what I've seen remotely about it. And uh, yeah, I don't know... Um, I would love to, uh, and plus we got that, uh, um, we got that show Onyx coming out on Crunchyroll. I'm excited about that, and you'll find out why soon. Um, so yeah, been always would love to go to Mexico. Um, it'd be great to have somebody who like knows the area though, because I don't know anything about Spanish. I don't know. I don't, I don't speak Spanish. Um, so I I feel like I'd be a little lost. Um. Key, Key Forge. Did I say Keystone? Key Forge is the game that I play. Um, and uh, Leona, once again, final question. Thank you for answering so honestly, by the way. Uh, why did you start drinking? I personally would like to, but I'm afraid. Any advice? Drink recommended. Um, so that's actually a long story, but I'll sort of sum it up. Um, there, there, is, there is alcoholism that is in my family. Um, so I think I was just sort of afraid of that. So I never drank uh, just because I was like, I don't want to become that. Um, I was sort of afraid what it would like turn me into. Uh, but I was in such a good place in my life and we were in Japan with a bunch of friends and, um, you know, somebody got a drink and 
it was like it was like blue and just it, it was just so fucking like damn yeah, man it's a fucking drink like whatever and I'm like all right fine I'll drink it and then I caught a little buzz on it and I was like hey this isn't so bad like I'm not turning into a fucking monster like this is great um so then I just you know while I was in Japan I was like okay you know so and I think I think associating you know drinking alcohol with that like amazing time that I had in Japan it was so much fun um really like helped me sort of get over the fear that I had that it would turn me into a fucking monster or whatever. And so now, you know, it's not it's not a regular thing. I don't overdrink. I've never blacked out. I'm very responsible about it. And I think I think the best thing that happened was that I started drinking at fucking 32 or whatever, you know, like cuz it was like I was with friends and they were and they're all adults and they were like, "Yeah, man, just drink a lot of water." And I'm like, "Okay." And so I do that now. And I've, you know, I've never like I've been hung over maybe twice. Um, and I always have a pleasant experience when I drink. So there you go. And also they invented White Claw, which is, I don't want to hear anybody shit on White Claw because this shit, it's a hundred calories and you can catch a buzz off of it. And it's awesome. Mm. So you can't beat that. You just can't fucking beat it unless you take a shot of vodka or whatever. Uh, anyway, speaking of which, I'm going to go pee, so I'll be right back. Alright, I return. I return, hands washed. I mean, that should go without saying. I just, last time somebody was like, did you wash your hands? It's like, yes, of course. Um, Alright. So, um, this is the only time I'll say it. Because um, it feels weird, and I hate doing this. Uh, but we are, we're basically about one more stream away from our... Uh, our uh, Urza Saga goal. So a couple streams ago, I made the promise that I would save up uh, Super Chats in order to open up Urza Saga box, which I think is like, you know, aside from revised and alpha and beta is like the most expensive booster box. Um, and we're very close. I haven't gotten any new booster boxes. This has all just been, I've just been opening stuff that I have um, in storage. Uh, so... Um, any donations that are going towards Super Chat and stuff are going towards this Urza Saga box, which I think is going to happen uh, next stream. So if you if if you want that to happen sooner, if you want if you're really excited for Urza Saga, just throw a Super Chat in. I read every Super Chat, um, so that's the only time I'll say it because Urza Saga is really expensive, and I would never ever <laughs> buy that with my with on my own. Like that's it's that's a ridiculous amount of money for a, a box of cards. But if it's for everyone's entertainment and, uh, you know, for the, 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 the hype of a Gaia's Cradle, um, then I'm way into it. And so uh, just putting that out there, I'm never, ever going to ask for people to, like, explicitly donate Super Chats again. Um, so there you go. All right. Look at this fucking box. Look how cool that is. God. This doesn't even look like, like Magic the Gathering. Whoa, dude. Are you kidding me with that? That's awesome. Oh, that's sick. All right. 
Okay, let's open this shit up. Yo, this set. I'm not familiar with the set. Whoa. Slippery packs. I am not familiar with the set at all. So seeing these packs is like, like, wow. Like, look at this. Is it just these two? Or oh, there's that one. Wow, these are sick. God, these packs are so slippery. <laughs> I feel like these aren't. These are more slippery than other other sets usually are. Okay, let me put these uh, Ikoria. Look at how many fucking foils we got from Ikoria. Like, what the fuck? Oh, some of these are rares. It's a rare foil. Oh, I forgot about the Skycat Sovereign. Oh, this is a rare. Okay, so, so, some of them got mixed up. Never mind then. It's still a lot of foils, though. Anyway. All right. Let's start opening these badass packs, baby. <laughs> Don't beg for money, man. Yeah, I know. I, I just, just. I know everyone's excited for it, and I keep mentioning it, and it's, it's, it hasn't happened yet because it's just not. It's, it's. But I think I'm probably gonna make the, the purchase, um, preemptively, uh, this week for the, the Urza Saga box. So I'm super stoked about it. Um, oh man, these older packs, they just, they, by default, they fucking curl, you know? Man, it's such a bummer. Those, those Mirrodin cards, they were curling too. Um, okay, here we go. I don't know any of these cards, so, uh, help me out here. I got Binding Soul Eater. It's fucking scary as hell. That is scary as hell. This is already, like, the most terrifying shit in the world. Uh, we got Maul Split. Oh, come on. Look at that. Jason Chan. Oh, wait. Is Jason Chan... Did he do um, Treasured Find? Which is, like, my favorite art. Hold on. I gotta look that up. Treasured Find. He did Jace the Mind Sculptor. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Oh, here it is. Yeah, Jason Chan. Same fucking art. I knew it. I fucking recognized his fucking, his, his cute goth looking girl. Like, <laughs> that's just, that's his thing, man. Mall Splicer enters the battlefield. That's a seven drop. Holy shit. Okay. Um, hold on. I didn't even read the fucking card. Mall Splicer enters the battlefield. Put two... 3-3 three, three colorless golem cre artifact creature tokens onto the battlefield. Golem creatures you control have trample. She's a 1-1. One, one. Woof. You got Ruthless Invasion over here. That guy is not. He's like, fuck this shit. I'm out of here. Oh, here it is. Right away. Suture Priest. Wow, look at that. God, that's so creepy. So creepy. Uh, ooh, Vault Scourge. Yeah, wow. This art is just... Fucking gorgeous. Gataxian probe. This like is scary. Wait, was this in a mystery boosters? This seems kind of familiar. War report. Dope. Dope. Slash Panther. He's running. That looks like the um Devil Man run. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Fucking like really long. Oh, good hit. What's the, what's the hit? What's the hit? Gataxian probe is the hit. Alright, cool. Boom. Banned Probe. Oh, shit. Okay, he's banned. Let's take a look at this. He costs Phyrexian mana. Blue Phyrexian mana. Look at target player's hand and draw a card. Holy shit. All right, well, I'll sleep that fucker. Why not? <laughs> it was the hit. All right, great. Gitaxian Probe it is. We got that Slash Panther. We got that Glissa's Scorn. Glissa doesn't fucking care about any shit. He's like, fucking get out of here. Parasitic implant. Little green hilt trainee. I'm training. I'm training to be a green hilt. But it ain't. It's going a little slower than I thought it would. <laughs> okay. And tumor exarch. And, uh... God, that's scary. God, that's so scary. All right. Argent mutation. Target permanent becomes an artifact in addition to its other types until end of turn. Draw a card. Interesting. 
And what do we got? Norn's Annex. Is that good? Is that value? Three and two Phyrexian white. Creatures can't attack you or a Planeswalker you control unless their controller plays, pays one Phyrexian mana for each of those creatures. Wow, man. That's like a, that's like a character-specific Revenge of Ravens action going on there. Oh, five bucks. Hey. I'll sleeve that. I mean, I sleeve all the rares. Oh, fuck. That golem token. Holy shit. Look at that. That's scary. All right, cool. Good start. Good start. Uh, open the cards. All right. Flameborn Viron. Get that toxic Nim. My name's Nim. I'm toxic as hell. Dude, this guy needs to get canceled. He's being so toxic. Remember the Fallen. That's fucking cool. Very dramatic. Defensive stance. What is this fucking, like, a Marvel comic? Like, what? It's like, straight up, like, I'm Bluebug! I use my shield attack to protect my teammates from. Okay. Oh, gross. Leeching bite. <laughs> Can I have some more of your goo? All right. Already saw that one. Uh, did we get any? Did we get any good hits? Get any good hits? Okay, never mind. I haven't got any good hits. All right. Ooh, that's beautiful. Pristine talisman. Wow, look at that. Is that the uh, traditional art? God, it's so clean. Spire monitor. <laughs> I'm looking at the spire, but I can't see anything. Razor swine. Little razor swine action going on there. Lost Leonin. <laughs> Can't find his car. <laughs> Where did he park? Talisman? Talisman's good? Sleeve the talismans? All right. I'll sleeve the talismans. Got that conversion chamber, baby. I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that at all. Little shattered angel. <laughs> all right. Sickle slicer. <laughs> I'm going to slice you. You better watch out, because I'm going to slice you. An are you fucking serious? <laughs> what? How is that possible? I think it's the first time it's ever happened to me. <laughs> the same card, right? <laughs> what? The clump zone is real, dude. Clumps all the same cards together. <laughs> Oh, man. This might be a poo-poo box. <laughs> yeah, this is resealed. This is this is resealed. Every other pack's gonna be Norn. Every pack is gonna be Norn's Annex. Every single pack. All right. Glistener Elf. Very glistening. Got Flameborn Viron again. But whoa, dude. That's fucking scary. Forced Worship. Damn, dude. Dementia Bat. <laughs> he can't. He's like, where am I? Ugh. It's like... Uh, bat, you can't keep wandering out in the street like that. When terror outweighs all other thoughts, they will understand that I am the true father of machines, as X as Og, the demon Thane. I don't even know how that's relevant. Rotted Hystrix. <laughs> little War Report, a little Slash. Oh, well, we got a lot of the same cards here. Numbing Dose. I need some of that. Fucking every day of this fucking quarantine, I need some of that shit. We got Necro Pouncer. It's pretty sick. Rage Extractor. I, again, I need this for fucking quarantine. Like, just get the rage out of me, dude. Uh, save the elf. Which one's the elf? The elf. Hey, where's the elf? What are you guys talking about? Is it the first card? Oh, Glistener Elf. Got it. Got it. All right. Rage Extractor. Master Splicer. <laughs> I am the Master Splicer, and this is my Splicy Boy. And then we got Unbrask the Hidden. Holy shit. Fucking Mythic right out the gate. Is that good? People like that? Unbrask the Hidden. So five drop, four, four. Creatures you control have haste. Creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Ooh. Damn. Is that a, oh, it's a Praetor. There we go. Okay, that's one of the Praetors. Got it. Okay, so that's the red Praetor. 
Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That's sick. That's pretty sick. All right. Mm. I'll take that all day. Let's check out Glistener Elf, too. What's the deal with her? Um, one, one, one drop with Infect. This creature deals damage to creatures in the form of one, one counters and to players in the form of poison counter. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. I can see that. Yeah, in fact, you know, I when I was playing early on and I found some people at an LGS who were playing Commander and I didn't really know what I was doing, um, I borrowed one of their decks and uh, it, it had some Infect cards and they had just like, I was just like, um, should I swing with this card? And they were like, yes. And then I swung with it and then I just like took out another player and it was because it had Infect. And I was like, oh, Jesus, that's really strong. A lot of doubles here. Vault skirt. Ooh, another probe. Hover mirror. Come over here and hover mirror. And the trespassing soul eater. Yeah, these these like paintings with the the metallic effects are so fucking good. Wow, a lot of the same cards. I literally got those cards in the exact same order in the last pack. That's fucking weird. Phyrexia's core. Very gross. Don't want to look at it anymore. And slave. Not a great name for a card. Wing Splicer. Very cool and creepy. And a Spell Sky. Oh, shit. Is that one of the good ones? I think that's one of the good ones. I think that's one of the hits. Is that a hit? Oh! Yes! Oh! Fuck yeah. All right. Sleeve that, motherfucker. Sleeve that probe, too. Damn, dude. Yo, this box is producing. Yo, let's try this shit. Uh, it's a two drop, zero, four, and you can blue Phyrexian to change a target of target spell or ability to spell Skype. Whoa, dude. That's awesome. That's fucking cool. All right. That's awesome. Great. Great work. And I got this rules tip proliferate card that I, I think is probably worth like 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Um... All right, let's look at some some of these super chats. I gave a call out to super chats, and there've been a lot of a lot of ones so far. Uh, let me see what the okay, uh, Kasuna Chan. Thanks for all the hard work you and all your teams do. Love my name is Carly. By the way, you're the reason I dream of being a voice actor. Hey, you don't got a dream, do it. Make it real. Make your dreams real. That's what. That's why they're there. That's why they're dreams. Sue now. T says, still got a bad relationship with the Devil's Cabbage. I do. I do. I. I. Uh, I'm really, really nervous to try it again. It's it was definitely a really bad experience for me, and I think it's just because I was in a bad headspace mentally. But it fucked me up, man. It fucked me up for months. Uh, the Cloud Dev. If you ever, if I ever get famous, can I get on Guest Grams? Um, <laughs> I guess so. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I never know how to answer that question because it's like, I don't, I don't know who you, I, I've never, you, this is the first I've, I've heard of the cloud dev. So everybody shout out to the cloud dev. If um if he's got like a YouTube channel or something, go check it out. Aaron Burke, you're my favorite person. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's really sweet. Jonathan Bjork. These streams are really helping me through my night shifts over five more hours left. God, that sucks. Sending all my love all the way from Sweden. Hey! Love Sweden. Great, great town. Great town. Um, Kyle, now Schultz again. 50 bucks if you pull foil Urabrask. Okay. Well, I pulled a regular Urabrask. So let's see if I can foil it. 50 bucks, huh? Hmm. All right, Jonathan Bjork, oops, autocorrect error in the last one. Well, thank you for the additional donation to let me know that. That's very sweet. Uh, Simon LaRose, hey, Aaron, I've watched your videos, vids, and listened to your music for years now. You've gotten me through some tough times. Thanks for everything. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Um, JTDS, just popping by to say I'm insanely jealous of that payment, and this is the best. Oh, the playmat. Yes. Love this playmat. The, the uh, Japanese War of the Spark Nissa. So fucking cute. Love it. Love this art. All the particle effects. So dope. Um, Chris Frazier. Hey, Aaron. Saw you in NSP and Twerp at the Nashville concert a few years ago. You guys rocked the house. Keep being awesome. That was a great show. I love that Nashville show. 
Um, thanks for that. And Pink Carnage, new Phyrexian is Mir Mirrodin. The Phyrexians took over. Oh, that's cool. Well, that makes sense. The Bic Lord, thank you. Hey, Aaron, a couple questions. What is your playmat? Uh, it is Japanese War of the Spark Nissa. And do you watch any MTG content creators? I recommend Merchant. Super chill guy. Uh, yes, I do watch Merchant. I watch uh, Rudy. I watch uh, Tolarian Community College. I watch um, Kenobi. Um, and there's a bunch of other ones. Ristic Studies, I think, is what they're called. Uh, I, yeah, that, I, I watch tons of MTG content. All right. Mm. There we go. We got that chained throat seeker. I'm always seeking that throat. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> nice. All right, that's gross. Viridian Harvest, insatiable soul eater. I'm feeling quite insatiable. Quite insatiable. For souls, apostles' blessing. That's fucking cool. You have my blessing. I'm going to practice kendo now. We got that mycosynth wellspring. Jeez. Doesn't look like a wellspring to me. Uh, blighted agent. Pretty cool. A little uh, artillerize. What the hell is happening here? What is happening? Is that like a humanoid creature with a strange like bat shark face? I'm very confused. Got that Spire Monitor once again, looking at that Spire. I got that Slash Panther. I got that Grim Affliction. Fucking. These are the cards where it's like, it's just detail, detail, detail. And it's like, oh, okay, I get it now. It's a dude. And there's like light coming out. He's like, fuck, this sucks. What a Grim Affliction this was. Um, Caress of Phyrexia. Very dope. Looks like a hand puppet. He's like, man, this is my hand puppet. Carl. He's like, I'm Carl. All right, Shrine of Limitless Power. Very cool. Is that supposed to be Karn? Kind of looks like Karn. Isolation Cell. Gorgeous. Cool crystal situation. Looks like the Matrix. And Blade Splicer. What do you think of that? Is that good? Blade Splicer? And a Poison Counter. Nice. Blade Splicer. Three drop, one one. When Blade Splicer enters the battlefield, put a three three colorless golem artifact creature token onto the battlefield. Golem creatures you control have first strike. Also, there's like golem decks, golem decks. I guess it's like a like a slivers almost. Like it seems like there's a lot of cards in here that like buff golems. Mm. Blade Splicer is my favorite card when I bought this set as a kid. Oh, all right. Victorious Destruction. Little psychic barrier. Little Phyrexian Hulk. Mm, what a honk. Little Viridian Harvest. Got that one already. Geth's Verdict. What's the verdict? This the art in this set is like pretty amazing. Wait, 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 go back. What what did I what did I fuck up? Agent, agent. I missed one. What did I miss? Whoa, hold on. Uh, Blighted Agent. Okay. Blighted Agent is a good hit. Is it a common? Good old common? Let's check this bad boy out. Two drop, one one. With Infect, of course. Blighted Agent is unblockable. Oh, jeez. I mean, we got like Mist Cloaked Her Herald now, but like Blighted Agent, that's uh, that's fucking all right. It's a good card, just not worth money. You know what? I'll sleeve it anyway. Fuck it. It's a fifty-dollar foil. Whoa! All right, I'll look out for foil. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this 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 set is like handing out the foils. Oh, build a modern infect. Getting some good infect cards. Yeah, that's cool. Um, shit, I lost my place. Why do I have so many cards in my hand? What what is what did I do with this? Uh oh. All right, Phyrexian Metamorph. What do you think? Is that good? Is that good? Three and a blue Phyrexian. Zero, zero. You may have Phyrexian Metamorph enter the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield, except as an artifact in addition to its other types. That is that is great. Oh, we got another one, too. Man, this fucking set is just filled with... 
Where is dismember? Did I make, there it is. Boom. Damn, dude, it's fucking filled with quality. Oh, we got a foil here. Ogre Menial. I'll take that, baby. Yeah, I feel like I get like a crash course on these 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 sets when I uh when I do these un un unboxings, because I I just have no idea about any of these cards. That Phyrexian Metamorph, by the way, sounds fucking awesome. You can pay. Phyrexian Man is just like broken. Like, that's just so good. <clears throat> All right. Ah. Next pack. Dismember. Target creature gets minus my five minutes from the end of the turn. Damn, dude. Do you have like a Phyrexian life gain deck? Does that seem like you have like a white, like a fucking Heliod deck with like Daxos and then you just put like Phyrexian mana in there? Is that a thing? Luxodon Convert. God, all these creatures are so fucking creepy and gross. It feels like a like a like a heavy metal comic or something, you know what I mean? Uh, Alright, Evil Presence. Very cool. Got that scrapyard salvo. <laughs> This dude's so fucking scared, dude. He's like, stop! Got that Force Worship again. Got that Viridian Betrayers. Oh my god, that is the horniest fucking card. You got this, like, buff-ass dude in the front, and this chick's, like, shirt is all open. Is that even a shirt? It's, like, armors or something. That's just like, we're coming to fuck you. It's like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, Death Hood Cobra. <laughs> After a Death Hood. <laughs> Don't fuck with them. Spine Thopter. Nice. Oh. Oh. Wait, was there something I should sleeve? Okay. Grim Affliction once again. Got that Volt Charge. Very creepy. Reaper of Sheoldred. Dude, he's fucking screaming, dude. Or wait, is that like... Is it like coming down and that's part of the... Okay, I thought this was like an open mouth. And he was just like... Whoa! My fucking mantis arm. Fallen. Fallen Duke Robancer. Duke we got that enslave once again. Not a huge fan of that name. Oh shit! Another Praetor. Wow. Okay. Jin Gidexius. Core Augur. A 10 drop. 5 4 with flash. At the beginning of your end step, draw 7 cards. Each opponent's maximum hand size is reduced by 7. Damn, dude. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, I'll take that any fucking day. It's just ridiculous. Yo, this box is delivering. Are you kidding me? I need to fucking email the guy on eBay or whatever. Hmm. Grit, git, git, gitak, git, git, gitxius? How do you, how do you pronounce that? Gitxius? Gitxius? Gitxius, mate. <laughs> nice. Um. All right. Uh, let's do some donos. Joanna Gooley. Hey, Aaron, how are you? P.S. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. Uh, Sunao T. Yu-Gi-Oh! names are weird. May I humbly present Dementia Bat. Born with wings. Forgetter of all things. Name whack. On a journey to get his memories back. Yeah, I know. Magic's got some weird names, too. But Yu-Gi-Oh! is... I feel like it's, like, not hard to find them. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I fucking love weird names. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! has our MTG has fucking mulch. Like, that's good enough. Dark Ruler Kidda's, uh, or Kidda Z. Hi, I'm Catherine. Here's to the expensive box. Ah, oh, thanks, Catherine. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit that. Uh, we're gonna get that Urza Saga. No problem. Uh, Ritz, okay. As a kid, I watched love. Wa I loved watching your animations. That and anime growing up made me want to be an animator and VA. Now I'm in college. Things are confusing, but I'm trying to push forward with my dreams. Thanks for all the years. Love from Florida. Oh, man. So sorry you live in Florida. Um, yeah. Dude, fucking follow your dreams, man. Trying to push forward. Just fucking push forward, man. You know? I mean, I, look, I know it's tough, and it takes a lot of courage to follow your dreams like that, but um, fucking do it, man. Like, life's too short. Just, just do what you're trying to do. Um, Jun Young Park. Dismember was drawn by Tyree. Oh, no, I've heard of her. Yeah, T T Therese Nielsen, a known turf. Yeah, <laughs> Ech. Ech. So I'm not saying you should rip it up like you did Sonic Creation earlier, but 
Well, you know, which one? Dismember this one. You know, it's it's. Ugh, that's the that's tough. I, I I ripped up. Um, I didn't rip up Song of Creation. I ripped up. Um, uh, the Cyclone. This one. This this piece of shit. Uh, this is the only one I have, so I'm gonna keep it. And I, I'm sorry if that's if that's a, a bummer to some people, but uh, yeah, it's like Cyclone. I I have a ton of, so it's like whatever. Um, so <laughs> I apologize. But yeah, I don't I don't want to support that shit. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this action. <laughs> Done. Fuck turfs. Uh, okay. Major chonkers. Uh, I really appreciate what you said about grief. Watching your streams has gotten me back into collecting Pokemon and MTG cards, starting my own stream and realizing what I appreciate. Life may suck, but doing what I love helps. Thanks, man. That's really nice of you to say. Um, yeah, man, grief is tough, but everybody gets through it, man. Everybody does. Snip it, dip it, and rip it. <laughs> sign them and give them away. I'm not going to sign a fucking, fucking turf-ass art. I'm not going to put my name on a fucking turf-ass card. Fuck that shit. It's going in a box. You never have to see it again. All right. <clears throat> Slip it, grip it, dip it, snip it. <laughs> Bip it, tip it, tip it. All right. We got Toxic Nim over here. Uh, remember the Fallen. Beautiful. We've already seen these ones. Yep, seen that one. Leeching Bite, seen it. Gremlin Mine. Is that good? Seems like the artifacts do pretty well. Oh, another Blighted Agent. I'll take that. Uh, Lost Leonin once again. Thundering Tanadon. Ha 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 ha. I use an electric toothbrush. Gets into the cavities. Okay, Geth's Verdict. Onto the Uncommons now. Uh, we got uh, Deceiver Exarch. We got that Green Hilt Trainee, and we got that Tormentor Exarch. And what do we got for the rare? Glistening Oil, baby. A little oil coming out of those eyes. Bloop, 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 bloop. That looks like... um. What is it? Uh, ferro fer fer fluid? Is that what it's called? Deceive. Oh, really? Exar? Uh, Deceiver Exarch is good. Oh, Exarch is thirty cents. Okay. Well, you know what? I'll sleeve it anyway. If everyone says it's good, oh, we should probably check out what glistening oil is. Uh, two black. Uh, enchantment. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature has infect. Yep. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a one one counter on enchanted creature. A net minus one minus one counter. Uh, when glistening oil is put onto the graveyard from the battlefield, return glistening oil to its owner's hand. Oh. Wow, that's awesome. Jeez, just a fucking like endless cycling uh, removal. That's pretty cool. Um. Exarch plus twin equals win. Oh, okay. Used to be part of the splinter twin combo. Got it. Uh, and then Exarch. You can flash it. It's 1 4. When Deceiver Exarch enters the battlefield, choose one. A tap target permanent you control or tap target permanent an opponent controls. That's pretty dope. I could see being very happy about that, about drafting that. Ugh. All right. Shout out for the missed talisman. What did I miss? I missed the talisman. The, this, the, the mine? Soul Eater, Isolation Cell. What talisman did I miss? What are you talking about? I'm not seeing a talisman. <gasps> I see a talisman! Fuck! <laughs> what a fool I was, dude! Oh, such a fool. Now that I've sleeved it, everything can be happy again. All right, we got that Glistener Elf. Everybody loves that one. Got that Dementia Bat. A little Victorious Destruction. Numbing Dose. Oh, I've seen all these. Shriek Raptor. That's pretty sick. Love that underlighting. That's dope. Pestilent Soul Eater. Yeah. <laughs> that was me before I wised up to my teenage years. Kiln Walker. Dude, if I was just fucking firing some pots and shit and I saw that walking around in there, I'd be like, mm, no, 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 I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna stop doing this now. Trying for the hordes. Can I just shout out this artist? Izzy? <laughs> fucking awesome. Yeah, Wing Splicer and Chancellor of the Dross. Did we get a hit? Is that good? Fucking seven drop. 
creature vampire 6-6. Six, six. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, at the beginning of your first upkeep, each opponent loses three life, then you gain life equal to the life lost this way. Wow. That's pretty cool. Hit on Triumph. Oh, yeah. Triumph of the Horde is a hit. I'll take that. Another rule card. I don't know what the fucking rules is going on here. Triumph of the Horde is 10 bucks. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? It's a four-drop sorcery. Until end of turn, creatures you control get 1-1 one, one and gain trample and infect. Oh, my God. It gives every creature infect. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Did they just not know how strong infect was? When they, uh... I mean, that seems like the case. Uh, Chancellor of the Draw... I already did that. Wow. Because, yeah, infect seems like... I mean, if they're making that an uncommon card, and it's like, yeah, everybody gets infect, whatever, it's no big deal. And it's like... I don't know, man. <laughs> that seems pretty, uh... Seems pretty strong. New Phyrexia was busted all over the place, yeah. Yeah, I already hit a band card. That sensor splicer, that's new. Pretty sick. Uh, Necro Pouncer. All right, Exclusion Ritual. Geo Surge. <laughs> what the fuck? Add seven mana to your mana pool. Spend this mana only cast artifact or creature spells. That seems like it's a good hit. Uh, we got Bludgeon Brawl. And, oh, what's the foil? Oh, oh my god, dude. <laughs> hey, who was it? Who was it? Who said it? Who said it? Who was it that said that? Fucking, are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Yo, dude. Where's that 50 bucks? <laughs> That's fucking unbelievable. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. And I've already pulled this fucking card. Whew. Wow, that's a beautiful foil bot. That does not translate at all to this camera. That's gorgeous. That's like a nice, even, like, silver foiling. That's really nice. And let's leave that Geo Surge just because people said it was good. Wow, man. Wow. That's, uh... Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't even fucking... Like, what a call-out. What a call-out. It's like, if you if you pull this card, I'll give you 50 bucks. Fucking pull it, man. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, let, let's go for that Elish Norn, dude. Let's go for it. All right, Sensor Splicer. All these We've seen all these bad boys. Ooh, Blind Zealot. Oh, my God. I am in love. That's that's what I'm trying to be. This is how I'm trying to be right now. This is like... Th this whole situation is how I'm trying to be. Blind Zealot. Let me get some of that. A little mutagenic growth. <laughs> little Gremlin Mine. Whoa, that's cool. I just like the way that looks. Oriok Survivors. Again with the fucking horn. These cards are so horny. Like, come on. Look at that. So I'm buff and naked. And it's like, I'm, and I've got a butt. And I'm just like all up in your face. It's like, all right, dude. All right. Oh, oh, did it come in? Did it come in? Wait, wait, wait. Did I get a hit? Did I get a hit? What was the hit? What was the hit? Mutagenic. Oh, okay. Nice. Bam. Nice hit. Fire oh, I, it's all these cards where you have to pay with Phyrexian mana. It's so fucking... Damn, all right. Nice. Ooh, corrupted resolve. All right, let me sleeve this. Uh, dude, uh, Kyle, Kyle now Schultz. The deal's a deal. Congrats, dude. Hey, man. You know, it's it. I would have been fine if you didn't pay. Like, I, that's a lot of money. But uh, I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate you keeping keeping your word, man. Keeping your word. That's beautiful. That's real beautiful, man. Kyle. Kyle. Hey, man, fucking give it up for Kyle, man. Fucking MVP over here. Fucking living up to his word. Thank you, man. That's going towards that, uh, that Urza Saga box. Awesome. Corrupted Resolve. We got Viral Drake over here. <laughs> He's got that hotline bling, dude. 
Vile Drake. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I just remember? Oh, life's finale. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Vile Drake, dude. <laughs> Yo, he's viral as hell. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, fucking Kyle MVP over here, man. Fucking pour one out for Kyle, man. Uh, love it. Love that. All right. This is the end of uh, stack one. We've got two more stacks to go. Can't believe we already got that. Foil Mythic hit. That's, that's absurd. These boxes are just like, woof. Boxes are going, baby. Let's go. Let's get that Elish Norn, baby. Get that Mortis Dogs. I don't even know what's happening here, and it's scary and terrifying, and I hate it. Got that Ogre Menial. Hey, that's that foil we just got. Psychic Barrier. Oh, Mall Splicer. God. You know what? This is probably my favorite art now. Fucking Mall Splicer. J Jason Chan. Jason Chan. I gotta say, like, get him. Get him on more cards. Little Hover Mirror. Numbing dose. Oh, that blinds all it again. Come on. Do respect. Yo, this creature is scary as fuck. I know there's there's a card, I think it might be in this set, that's super valuable. That's this creature. I don't know who it is, but man. Woof. Alright. Geosurge once again. Let's put that away. Good fuck dismember. I mean I'll sleeve it, but whatever. And Phyrexian Swarm Lord. Is that a hit? Oh wait, we got a foil. We got that Entumor Exarch. Is that a good foil? Is that a sick foil? Phyrexian Swarm Lord. That's fucking nice. That's fucking nice. Hold on, I'll read it out after I... Uh... Aaron, that's... Wait. Wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. I didn't... Oh, oh, that's Elish Norn. Okay, that's okay, okay, okay. So that character is Elish. I was like, I did not pull Elish Norn. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Got it. <laughs> I was a little confused. Uh, Phyrexian Swarm Lord. Let's see. Uh, six, six drop for 4-4 four, four with Infect? Of course. I feel like every card that's worth its shit in this is going to be an Infect or a Phyrexian Mana card. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a 1-1 one, one green cre insect creature token with infect onto the battlefield for each poison counter your opponent's out. Jesus, man. That's too much. That's too much. Alright. <sighs> I'm Elish Norn. It's me. Alright. Victorious Destruction. Seen it. Seen it. A little Hulk action. A little Viridian Harvest. Impaler Shrike. Wow, that, that like, that, like, uh, faded paint effect there is really cool. Pith Driller! Drilling through that, uh, that, that grapefruit pith! Wow. Nice. Nils Ham. Ooh, another mutagenic growth. I'll take that. I don't like that one. Yeah, was there. Cathedral Membrane. Ooh. A little goo on the outside of that membrane going situation. This is straight up the Game of Thrones wall. Dark Steel Relic. Is that good? It's indestructible. Effects say destroy, don't destroy it. So it's... What? It's just an artifact. It's just a free artifact that does nothing? <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess for like all that glitters or something, it's just like a free plus one, plus one counter. That's interesting. <laughs> that's really that's really interesting Fallen Pharomancer and what do we got here Slag Fiend just likes eating that slag isn't slag like a British term for for like getting laid Darksteel is dank oh let's look at uh Let's look at this. Slag Fiend. It's a one drop star star. Slag Fiend's power and toughness are each equal to the number of artifact cards in all graveyards. So that won't work with uh, what's its face. 
Slag is a term for the crust that forms on top of molten metal. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, fine. Shag, not slag. All right. Slag is British slang for someone who is a prostitute. Okay. That's that's what I thought. I thought that was uh, thought that was a thing. Anyway, <laughs> let's stop talking about that. Uh, Apostles blessing a little. This this card freaks me out. That was the first card I ever saw on, on this set, and I was like, "Fucking holy shit, that's scary." All right, uh, got that Kiln Walker. Got that Inquisitor Exarch. Is that any good? It's fucking creepy as hell. I I swear to God, they were just like, "Hey, so this set is just a nightmare. So just like, just draw your worst nightmares. Just do that." Well, Vapor Snag. Did I get it? Did I get a hit? Vapor Snag. Return target creature to his owner's hand. His controller loses one. Oh, it's like a better unsummon. That's pretty dope. I'll sleeve it. Why not? Fuck it. Blessing. What is Blessing? Did I, oh, I also pass? Okay. Apostle's Blessing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eh, you know. Nobody's really talking about Blessing. I'm not going to sleeve it. Ooh, the Hordes. That's $10. And Caged Sun. That's a that's a hit, isn't it? Isn't that a hit? I think I've gotten uh I think I've gotten um uh I think I have a Caged Sun in from uh Mystery Boosters. Fuck yeah. That's a great pack. Uh six drop. Caged Sun enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures you control of the chosen color get one one. Okay. Whenever a land's ability adds one or more mana to the chosen color to your mana pool, add one additional... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright. Caged sun. No, I'm not talking about uh, <laughs> keeping a sun caged. That would be uh, That would be very uncool. Immolating Soul Eater, very cool. I love how there's a lot of like um there's a lot of like consistency in this deck. You know, there's like different kinds of soul eaters. There's yeah, there's a trespassing soul eater, immolating soul eater. I think that's cool. Another blighted agent. Oh, there she is. There's uh there's Elish Norn. Oh, she got a little she got a little thing. We are a single entity. Dissenters must be sutured into the orthodoxy. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Dope. Uh, okay. Those are called cycles. Oh, I thought the... When you see five in different colors, it's called a cycle. Oh, okay, okay. So, cause I thought it was just land cycles. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, because, like, Eldraine had it with, like, the, 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 the three drops. The, like, you know, Ayara and Torbran and, uh... Uh... Yorn. What was his name? Yorn? Yorm? I don't remember his name. Maybe I'm thinking of Dark Souls. That's cool. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, oh, the Adamant Cycle. That's interesting. Wow, I didn't know they all had names. Yorvo, that's it. That's his name, Yorvo. Anyway, we got Mind Calling. We got Master Splicer. And we got Jor Kadeen, the Prevailer. Does he prevail? Oh, we got a, we got a foil, too. Oh, it's a fucking mountain. <laughs> okay, that's great. Good, good for the mountain. Let's leave the mountain. I love Yorvo. Your, I have Yorvo in a green devotion deck. Uh, let's see, Jorkadeen, the Prevailer. He's got first strike. He's a five four. He's a five drop. Boros, Metalcraft creatures you control get plus three plus zero as long as you control three or more artifacts. Yeah, all right. That's cool. Yeah, Yorm is the one with like the 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 storm sword, right? All right. The blighted agent in the sleep. Man, we are getting hit after hit, man. I'll tell you what. Uh, like, like this fucking triumph of the hordes, like nine dollar uncommon. It's like, psh, fucking, I'll take that all day. No wonder this set is like, a f it's a ridiculous amount of money to to buy this box. Oh, we got a little vapor snag once again. Got that spine thopter, that pith driller, furnace scamp. <laughs> oh, look at that this little scamp, just scamping around on the. Furnace, go oh, is furnace camp. Shrine of the boundless growth. That seems okay. 
is this is this a valuable card? Because it seems like there's something about this card that's like this is good. Maybe you cast a green spell, put a charge counter, or sacrifice the real one manager charge counter. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> Surge node and mind crank. This is uh <laughs> This is when I have to this is when I don't have internet and I really want to <laughs> want to jerk off. Okay. It's disgusting. Birthing pod. This has got to be good, right? Birthing pod. Surge node is a hit. Mind crank. Mind crank is fun. Mind crank is good. All right. <laughs> All right. Birthing pod. What do you think of birthing pod? Pod was banned. Pod was banned? Oh, wait. Okay. Three and uh, green Phyrexian. Sack a creature. Search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrifice creature. Put that card in the battlefield and shuffle your library at. Oh. Yeah. I get that. It's still $17 after being banned? It's like fucking Oko, man. It's like nobody gives a shit that Oko's banned. He's still like a $25 card or whatever. All right. Let's see what else we got here. This is going great. This is new Phyrexia poles are going awesome. All right. Minecraft. Oh, should I... Should I sleep mine crank? Alright. Here we go. A little defensive stance. Glistener Elf. Put that aside. Pith Driller. Oh, another mutagenic growth. Arm with Aether. Pretty sick. Shrine of the Boundless. Sickle Sicer. Hex Parasite. What do you think of that? Is that good? Hex Parasite over here. It's a one drop. One one. Remove up to X counters from target permanent. For each counter removed this way, Hex Parasite gets plus one plus zero until the end of turn. Yeah, I can see that being uh Oko's banned only in Brawl? I thought wait, Oko's banned in standard. That's wait, 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 hold on. Oko for sure is banned in standard. That was a big deal when that happened. Okay. That's, that's, okay, that's what I thought. Because that was when, like, Veil vale of Summer was banned, too. Ah. Hex Parasite kills Planeswalkers. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. That's pretty cool. Man, fucking... Phyrexian mana. You ever think they're going to bring back Phyrexian mana? I know that's a thing that people say. It's like, oh, they're bringing back sagas. Or like, oh, for sure they're bringing back this. Like, do you ever think they're going to bring back Phyrexian mana? Seems kind of broken. Seems way broken. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, another Glistener Elf. Another Blighted Agent. Man, I'm getting the, getting the hits, man. The hits keep coming. Got Ichor Explosion. Priest of Ourobrask. <laughs> Come at me, motherfuckers! I'm armed and skeletal. And then that Brutalizer exit. These Exarchs are fucking hilarious. Can I just say, like, the anatomy of these Exarchs are fucking hilarious. That is, that is adorable. Batter Skull. That's a mythic, dude. This is Bat... Wait, Batter Skull's the... Batter Skull's a hit! Batter Skull's a hit! I remember he talking about a hit! Oh, shit! Fuck yeah! Batter Skull, motherfuckers! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Oh, the hits keep coming! <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Did they put Batter Skull in uh, Mystery Boosters? This seems kind of familiar. Ooh, baby! Give me this shit. Living Weapon. When this, when this equipment enters the battlefield, put a plus a, a zero, zero black germ creature token. Oh, and I got one in that pack. I got a fucking germ creature token. How about that? Uh, and then attach this to it. Equipped creature gets plus four, plus four, and has vigilance and lifelink. Return battlefield to its owner's hand. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a fucking wild-ass card. That's a card that, like, fucking travels. 
Oh my god. Um, oh yeah, we went past the twelfth pack, so KP did not get his uh, his twelve pack. Uh, Elish Norn. So Elish Norn on the do respect art in pack twelve half counts, right? Hey, you know what? That I, I will say that that counts. If we're talking about like psychic powers or whatever, like you saw Elish Norn in the twelfth pack, so yes, I'd say that counts. And good for you, KP. Um, Ratchet fan three two one. So you don't keep sleeving ten cent cards. Only four common cards have value on run dollar. Get, get, Get Gidaxian Probe, Suture Priest, Glistener Elf, and Mutagenic Growth. Okay, I've been sleeving the Mutagenic Growths and Glistener Elves for sure. Blighted Agent I've been sleeving as well, though. Um, Alana, Alana V, you're awesome, dude. I got put in Twitter jail for a day for calling J.K. Rowling a turf, so best thing to happen to me in 2020. Yeah, I called out J.K. Rowling as well in her comments. It was fun. Um, <laughs> it's fun to dunk on turfs on Twitter, for sure. Uh, Curtis B. Hey, Aaron. Two things. I want to thank you and everyone involved with Grumps as a whole for being amazing. Secondly, hopefully you can come back to Toronto sometime. I missed it. Q. Darth Vader. No meme. Yeah, I love Toronto, man. Been there a couple times. Um, Soon out, T. Consider trying weed again with, with Dan this time. I don't know, man. I actually tried weed with Dan around when we were doing the Starbomb, the third Starbomb album, and it wasn't a fun experience. Uh, Arix, oh, it's just me, man. It's got nothing to do with the people around me. Arix Odrak, could I get an Aaron blessing for the core 2021 pre release this weekend? Uh, yes, I bless you for the pre release. That's this weekend? Ah, oh, shit. I'm, um, I'm supposed to be revealing a card in like a couple days. I haven't gotten it yet. Hold on, I should check my email for that. Uh oh. Hope that didn't get swept under the rug. Uh, hold on. Nope, haven't heard anything about that. Uh... Sorry, just checking my email. Nope, didn't get anything about it. All right, maybe they just, maybe they just forgot about me, and I'm not going to be revealing a card anymore. Hey, sure, whatever. Oh, the full set is revealed. Well, we're all right. I guess it's not for uh, Core 21, then. I guess it's for something else. Or maybe they were just like, fuck this dude. Done with him. <laughs> Don't want to deal with this motherfucker anymore. Dude opens way too many cards. Uh Oh, okay. Mine's for double masters. Never mind. Never mind. Mine's for double masters and it always was. I just misread the first email. So yes. That's uh There we go. <laughs> My bad. I don't know if I was supposed to say that, but uh yes. I am previewing a card soon. And look at this right up front. We got that fucking Gitaxian probe. Oh, yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Gitaxian? Get it, get it, get it, Xian? Get it, get it, get it, get it, Xian? Get it, Xian? Another blighted agent. I'm not going to sleeve that this time. Gutshot. Gutshot deals one damage to target creature or player. Eh. That seems like not a whole lot. If it was two damage, I could see that being a big deal. Hey, we got Viral Drake again. Ha <laughs> night. Had it right the first time. Gif. Get get Axian. Get Axian. Okay. Free spell though. It's free. I mean, yeah, it's free. Alright, gut shot. Alright, I'll fucking fifty cents. I'm not gonna sleep it if it's fifty cents. Alright. Etched Monstrosity. The Mythics just keep fucking coming. Are you kidding me? Etched Monstrosity, 10-10 for 5. Enters the battlefield with 5 minus 1 minus 1 counters on it. And you can pay every mana to remove 5 1-1 one, one counters from Etched Monstrosity. Target player draws 3 cards. Whoa. Yo. Oh, everyone's saying meh. Okay. <laughs> 
Downshifted Mythic. Oh. No, it's good. Bad. 50 cents. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. That's just 50 cents. Heck that. Heck that heck. Because I got a Dementia Bat. Oh, yeah, I do. Death Hood Cobra. <laughs> All these old friends. Dark Steel Relic. Funny stuff. All right, here we go. Torpor Orb. Torpor Orb. Creatures enter the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Oh, it's a fucking Hushbringer. It's a Hushbringer, but a... That seems okay. Torpor Orb. You put a Torpor Orb in a, in a uh, fucking Croxa deck. Or a... Um, uh, 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 what the fuck is the... Clackbridge Troll. Torpor Orb. Beast Within. Torpor Orb. Torpor Orb. Yeah, I guess that's way better than uh, one in a white for uh, Hushbringer. I just like Hushbringer because she's a, you know, she's a flyer with lifelink. It's kind of nice. Nice little situation going on. Um... KP, once again, genuinely think you should consider building Modern Infect. Near have playsets of stable cards. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll look up... Because uh, Modern is just... So, there's so many cards I don't know. I mean, even opening these these packs, it's like I'm not reading every card. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll look into that because that seems pretty dope. Beast Within. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Did I get... Be oh, Beast Within. $2. Cool. Gonna sleeve it. Oh, Beast Within. Destroy target permanent. Its controller puts a 3-3 green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that'd be cool with like um, like a Wish Claw Talisman or like a Treacherous Blessing or something, you know? Uh, all right, here we go. Leeching Bite, a little Talisman. Razor Swine, Lost Leonin. All right, we got Despise. Jesus, that's like every nightmare I've ever had. Uh, Vital Splicer, once again, the bad name card, and Surgical Extraction. Oh my god, that art. I would have said that was Seb if, if, I didn't, if I didn't know any better. That's gorgeous. It's like a Tool music video. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is that a hit? Oh, big hit. Oh, shit. All right. Well, just leaving that shit. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Yo. Best rare in the set. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a foil too, so let's uh, let's put that aside. Surgical extraction, uh, just one Phyrexian black. Choose target card in a graveyard other than a basic land card. Searches owner's graveyard land or library for any number of cards with the same name as that card. Exile them, then that player shut. Oh Jesus! Wow. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, here we go. Oh, foil mutagenic growth. Holy shit! Yo, that's awesome. Woo! Wow. Okay. <laughs> Just only getting foils of good cards, I guess. Jesus Christ. Wow, what a pack. Yeah, seriously, what a fucking pack. We got the talisman, too. Now I'm going to put the talisman over here. Jesus Christ. This is This is amazing. I, I'm, I'm getting a feeling about Elish Norn. If we're getting packs this good, like... Woof. Alright. Here we go. Something a little... God. Oh, another Mutagenic Growth. Let's leave that. Porcelain Legionnaire. Alright, we got that Corrosive Gale. I haven't seen that before, but it's pretty dope. Ah, it's like Plummet, basically. Mental Misstep. Very neat. Shrine of Burning Rage. Scary. Wait, what's the hit? What's the hit? What's the hit? Mental Misstep? Oh, Misstep. Hey. All right. Banned and everything. Whoa. <laughs> misstep is so good it's banned. Counter target spell with converted camp mana cost one. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <sighs> Give me a break with that. All right. And Boom. Oh my fucking god. Like, I don't even know this set and I know how fucking good these hits are. Are you fucking kidding me right now? What the fuck? 
How many mythics have I pulled so far? What? Hold, hold on. How many fucking myth? We're not even. We're not even done with the second stack. This is ridiculous, dude. Uh Oh, fuck that. Uh, yep. Yeah, foil mythic. Ridiculous. Mythic. Uh, mythic. Jeez, Louise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got six, six mythics so far. One of them foil. Give me a fucking break, dude. All right, Sword of War and Peace. I actually have... Uh, I have Sword of War and Peace, the masterpiece, which is dope. Love that shit. It's so fucking beautiful. Um, all right, Sword of War and Peace... Equipped creature, it's a three drop artifact, gets plus two plus two and has protection from white and red. Whenever equipped creature deals damage, combat damage, sort of war and peace deals damage to that player equal to the number of cards in his or her hand, and you gain one life for each card in your hand. My fucking god. It's like, oh yeah, um, so this card when it you swing and you do so much and it you get a million health and you get five creatures and it's like for fuck's sake. It's like um it just feels like sort of Dungeons and Dragons, you know? From the, the the fucking unset, it's just it's like oh yeah every time you swing you get a four four flying dragon. It's like whatever. Jesus, whoa, Serenity Olson, holy shit, thank you. Not even with the super chat, just dropping, just like whatever. Thank Jesus, wow, thank you so much. That's very very kind. Yeah, all the swords are stupid. Dude, the sword of feast and famine is like shut up. All right, um, another Glistener elf. I'll sleeve that. They got the talisman once again. Whip flare. Two damage to each non-artifact creature. That seems pretty good. And exclusion ritual. And Shrine of Loyal Legions. Wow. That's that's a nightmare fuel. Is that Karn? That's Karn. Xenograft. What do you think? Five drop, blue. Xenograph and enter the battlefield, choose a creature type. Each creature you control is the chosen type in addition to its other types. Huh. That seems a little too expensive for what it does. Eh. Hey, they can't all be fucking hits. They can't all be fucking foil praters. <laughs> Alright. This is the last pack of stack number two. Can you fucking believe that? Six mythics, one foil mythic in, foil mutagenic growth, and we're only two stacks in. Good fucking lord, man. Good fucking lord. This is unbelievable. All right. Let's, let's start. So, oh, of course, Gitaxian Probe. Oh, Alloy Mirror. So cute. Hello, creature. Oh, it's a three-drop artifact mana dork. That's not bad. Let me know if that's good. Uh, Volshock Refugee. Got the Beast Within. Another fucking hit. And the Phyrexian... Me did, didn't did I... Didn't I pull this already? Didn't I fucking pull this already? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, wait. Oh, Sutra Priest is also a hit. F <laughs> wait... Oh, 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 my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, a little blind zealot foil. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that, I'll take that. Wow, good golly, this is, this is absurd. This is absurd. I can't, I can't, I mean, we still haven't done Elish Norn yet. We still haven't gotten Elish Norn. But, uh, wow, dude. All right, we're starting on we're starting on <laughs> fucking stack number three. Woo! Yeah, Susie really put the energy into this box. I can tell you that. Uh, let's move this a little bit so they'll get it out of the way of my hands. All right. Yep. 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 Blind Zealot. Gillis Scorn. 
Got that Viral Splicer, that Rage Extractor, that Act of Aggression. How's that for you? Molten Steel Dragon. Four and two Red Phyrexian, four, four Flyer. And you can pay one Phyrexian to get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. That's a, that's a, that's a potential game ender. Oh my god, we have another foil. Okay. Oh, I remember the Fallen. That's beautiful, though. Wow, that foiling is gorgeous. Woof. It's, you know what's the bummer? Is the foiling never comes off on, on film. Whenever you film foiling, it's just like, uh, it just looks weird. But in person, it's like, wow, look at that. Oh, so gorgeous. Uh, Molten Steel was fun and not great now. Mm. Oh, is that Elspeth? Shit. Shit, dog. I had no idea. All right. I passed a Suture Priest early on. Ah, fuck. All right, that's fine. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it later. Got another Glistener Elf. Shriek Raptor. Petulant Soul Leader. Got that Impaler Strike. All right. Mycosynth Fiend. Another fucking Mind Crank. Mind Crank. Tormentor Exarch. And Chancellor of the Annex. Jesus. Four and three white. For a five, six angel, you may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, then each... Oh, it's one of these. Each opponent casts his or her first spell of the game. Counter that spell unless that player plays one. Whoa. Whoa. That's a little scary. Damn. All right. Yo, I don't know about the... I mean, no shit this fucking box was so expensive. Like, every card in this set is ridiculous. Whew. All right. Flameborn Viron. Got that Nim. Leeching Bite. Got another Talisman. Uh, all right, we got the arm with Aether, nice. Caress of Phyrexia, nice. Got that Geosurge once again. Life's Finale, what do you think of that? It looks fucking scary as hell. This is like the, what would be on the, like a like art on the wall of like a goth dude's like uh, a bathroom or something. <laughs> Destroy all creatures, then search target opponent's library for up to three creature cards and put them in his or her library. Uh, or graveyard. That's all right. Yes, yeah, the mind crank. Do you want me to? You want me to fucking sleeve the mind crank? I mean, how much is that worth? I thought uh, I thought mind crank wasn't one of the like one of the big bad boys. Mind crank is. Oh, okay, that's that's worth sleeving. All right, sleeve the mind crank. I think I had another mind crank I didn't sleeve. All right, we're down to however many this is. Let's see, what, let's see if we can make that uh, Elish Norn happen. Mm. Oh, I've got too many packs. Got too many packs. They're sliding all around. This is, I. you know what? I, I don't know if this is the case or not, but these new Phyrexia packs are so fucking slippery. They're so slippery. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, mutagenic growth. All right, here come the uncommon Shrine of Piercing Vision, Shield Lord, and Soul Conduit. Two target players exchange life totals. Huh. That's funny. That's a real, that's a real fuck you card. <laughs> Just take a bunch of hits and then... That's a, that's definitely like a, like a Timmy ass card, if ever there was one. Oh, okay. Let's just jump straight to the next pack. Can't all be great. Can't all be fucking mad wins. Got that talisman once again. All right, corrupted resolve. Nice whispering specter. God, that's gorgeous. Who? Do wow. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be that guy riding on that thing? Yeah, that looks like the dragon from Kingdom Hearts Two. <laughs> the goblin token is three dollars. What? This one? 
Am I gonna sleeve a fucking token? <laughs> there you go, I sleeved a token. Let's uh let me throw that in my little token token box over here. Whispering Spectre as well. Whoa, alright. Well, 160. Hmm. Hmm. Tezzeret's Gambit. Tezzeret's Gambit's good. Gambit's 50 cents. All right, let's go over here. Hex Parasite. I think we already pulled this. It's a one drop, one one, remove up to X counters. From, yeah, this is the uh, the Planeswalker killer. And we got a mirror. All right, all right. Token's actually $5. What? Hold on. Are you serious? Old tokens are rare and worth money? Whoa, whoa. This is 100% an error box. <laughs> hey, man, I'll take it. Ooh, Suture Priest. Nice. Oh, fucking probe. And an elf. <laughs> Jesus. Blighted Agent, too. This is like the, the value uncommon box. We got Noxious Revival. How's that? Uh, Shrine of the Piercing Vision, we got that in Tumor Exarch, and Birthing Pod. <laughs> Fucking band-ass Birthing Pod, once again. Jesus. Nox. Oh, no Noxious Revival is a hit? Really? Wow. Holy crap. Wait, really? Put target card from a graveyard under the top of its owner's library for nothing. Okay, yeah, okay, I get it. <laughs> wow. Noxious Revival is $10? Jesus Christ, man. Why don't I fucking own a an LGS? Put the blighted agent in the bulk pile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. I, I don't I don't sort it like bulk or whatever. Like I sort it by commons on commons and rares and I I, I keep them. I I'm not like, oh this card sucks. Anyway, sick birthing pod. Uh, okay. I would love to open an LGS, man. Got another Vapor Snag. It's another Suture Priest. Jesus. All right, we're on the Uncommons now. Inquisitor Exarch. Conversion Chamber. Got that Dispatch. Wow. What is that? It's like a bug. She's like a bug creature. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, all right, here we go. Xenograft, once again. Not so bad. That's a fun card. Like Xenograph, that's just kind of like a fun card. Dude, I'm getting dupes of the wazoo. I, I, people are... Dispatch is good, really? Dispatch? Boom. There you go. Put Dispatch in there. Tap target creature. If you control three or more artifacts, exile that creature. Whoa, that's like Path to Exile. Nice. Okie doke. Hover Mirror, another Glistener Elf, another Blighted Agent. All right, Cathedral Membrane, got that Refugee, got that Sickle Slicer, and the Green Praetor. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? Oh, my God. Uh, Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger. Uh, is a 8-drop, 7-6 with Trample. When you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. Yep, it's one of those. One of those Elysian of the Dryad. Dryad of the Elysian Grove. 35 bucks. Whenever an opponent taps a land for mana, that land doesn't untap during its controller's next. Okay. That's a fucking game ender. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. We still got four packs left. There's there's potential for Elish Norn. Jesus. Yeah, that's that's mean. That is mean. It's funny because you guys are like saying don't play it, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can put it oh, another suture priest. Another probe. Good golly, Miss Molly. Uh, oh, okay, so we're on the uncommons now. We got that Fiend, we got that Phyrexia's Core, we got that Pharaoh Mancer. Here we go! Chancellor of the Tangle. Got 
a seven drop, six, seven. You may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, at the beginning of your main phase, add green to your mana pool. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Is that a hit? A little ramp, a little early ramp. 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents. The only good chance there. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Neo brand. <laughs> Immediately kill any Vorn Clex players with immense abhorrence. Yeah, that makes sense. Not a fun card. All right, three left. Here we go, babies. God, we still have fucking Theros promo packs after this. This this box is just just too much hype. Mm. No value commons. Whip Flare, Loyal Legions, Argent Mutation. Target permanent becomes an artifact in addition to his other types of legendary and draw a card. Oh, yeah, I already drew that. Invader Parasite. Five drop. Three, two. Imprint. Whenever Invader Parasite enters the battlefield, exile target land. That's fucking cruel. Uh, whenever a land with the same name as, ex as an exile card enters the battlefield... Under an opponent's control, Invader Parasite deals two damage to that player. <laughs> That's kind of mean, but I don't see how that would be super useful. All right, two more. Garbo, man. Okay. Forced Worship. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I can't even read these anymore, man. Corrosive Gale. Got that Deceiver Exarch. Oh, this one's good, right? Um, Surge Node. Is that good? Here we go. Mirror Superion. Two drop, five, six. Spend only mana produced by creatures to cast Mirror Superion. You can only cast them with mana dorks. That's interesting. <laughs> hey! Is that a good one? Is that a good one? <laughs> Bro, what's up? He's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big boy. Look at him. He's so big. He's saying, you know, all these little creatures. It's just, oh, get out of here. He's like, no, those are my friends. I'm going to protect them. Oh, boy. All right. Straight up eat the card. Yeah, you got it. This is the last one. Is this Elish Norn? Is this her? It's Elish Norn. Are we seeing it happen? Are we seeing it happen? Mutagenic growth, nice. All right, mind culling. Was that a value card? No. Spine biter. It's got infect. Mental misstep. Oh, that's the that's the band one, right? That's the band one. All right. No foil. Here we go. Praetor's Grasp. Not a Praetor, but uh, Praetor's Grasp. Three drop, search target opponent's library for a card and exile it face down, then that player shuffles his or her library. You may look at and play that card as long as it remains exiled. That's good. Pretty good. I'll take that. So no Elish Norn, but uh, certainly not disappointed with what we pulled in this set. Uh... Yeah, we got that foil mutagenic growth, which is pretty amazing. The Entumor Exarch, which is okay. But holy shit, man. I mean, holy shit. <laughs> mutagenic growth, right? We got that Praise Grass, which was great. Lots of Gitexian, Git, Git, Gitaxian probes, Suture Priests. We got that fucking Vorinclex, shut up. Glistener Elf that I did not sleeve. Got Dispatch, lots of... Uh, we, got that, we got two Birthing Pods. Unreal. Got that Noxious Revival. <laughs> Tons of Mind Cranks. Another Geo Surge I didn't sleeve. Uh, Beast Within. Got two Phyrexian Metamorphs. Sword of War and Peace. Here with all the Mythics. We got Urbrask and a fucking Foil Urbrask. We got the Gitaxia's Core Augur. That Batter Skull. We got basically every good card in this set except for. Um, 
uh, Elish Norn, which like fine. Oh yeah, we got two of these Triumph of the Hordes. Yeah, this is like the dupe box, man. This is the fucking dupe box. Geo Surge. Fuck yeah, man. Fuck yeah. Well, that was a damn damn good box. Yeah, no Karn, no Karn. Dan's got a Karn though. Dan's got a sick Karn. If you if you want to see Karn. I, I put his Karn in uh, in a, uh, a hard case. So let's take a look at that. Oh, oh let's see. Let's just take a look at Dan's value cards here. Some Tigas, Tropical Islands, this uh, Unlimited Berserk. Here we go, Karn Liberated. Here's his Karn. Pretty good condition. That Those scratches are on the case, not on the card. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, Dan's, Dan's collection is no joke. These fucking tundras, more tropical islands, taigas, taigas. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> yeah. I, I No, I'm, ta I'm taking care of him for him. Taking care of him for him. He just fucking had him in his decks. He's just like, oh yeah, check out my cards. And I was like... Um, I think these are, some of these are very valuable. <laughs> and he was like, oh, cool. And I, like, priced out his, his cards for him. And so, oh, I also got the fucking enemy fetch lands, uh, stupid-ass secret lair that's so expensive and dumb and worthless. Who cares? Waste of my fucking money, as far as I'm concerned. <clears throat> okay. Um, did he have an underground sea? I think he did. So that wasn't the whole stack that I showed you. All right, well, the the best thing that came out of this was I got to sleeve a token. That was really, really a positive. Uh, I do every secret lair. I'm sorry, I just do. I, I, I just feel like it's like a thing that it's, I might, like I might as well. They retain their value. Every secret layer so far has retained its value, and plus the the um, the uh, the planeswalkers, the stained glass planeswalkers. If you pull a lily, that's like a hundred bucks. Mm. Oh God. Okay, sorry. I just needed to drink some water. Mm. The. Uh, these um these sleeves these hard case sleeves they're like um they're uh, ultra pro I think they're called like one touch or something like that um they're really really nice um they just they just pop open because they got a little magnet on the top and then you know you just you just put a little uh you know perfect fit um the KMC sleeves I actually don't they don't fit that well there's a little overlap this is actually a KMC sleeve. Okay, this one fits perfectly for some reason. The ones that I find fit perfectly are the Dragon Shield perfect fits where you like you fold the back into the back of it. Those fit like 100% perfectly in those uh, Ultra Pro sets. Um, yeah, I'm a big I'm a big Dragon Sleeve a Dragon Shield fan. Pretty fucking sick pulls today, I got to say. Um, so let's get to those let's get to those Theros collector's promo packs because i'm fucking hungry and i want to as much as i'm like thoroughly enjoying this all right let's fucking knock the oh actually you know what i'll do some fucking super chats before we do that of course what am i thinking um okay Dan daniel rgt you've helped me through a lot of hard times much love i know you play fighting games a little bit uh, who do you like to play in Third Strike or in Capcom versus SNK2? Uh, Third Strike, I like playing as Makoto, Alex, um, Yoon and Yang, uh, you know, Ryu and Ken. They're just fun to dick around with. Uh, yeah, those are my mains. I play Dudley a lot, but I feel like I forgot how to play him. And then Capcom versus SNK2, I love playing as Maki. She's the worst, and I love playing as her because she's fucking Maki. She's awesome. Um... And uh, who else? Like, I like playing as all the SNK characters. They 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 all suck. Like, nobody's gonna beat Sagat. But um, like, 
just the way that they move, the way their sprites move, the animations are so, like, beefy and shit. Like, if you get that, like, heavy slash off with Haomaru, it just, like, feels so fucking good. Um, I also like playing as Eagle uh, in, in Capcom vs. SK2. Any interest in going to any tournaments after the Backstreet Boys reunion tour? Um, not, definitely not a tournament fighter. Uh, Hibiki fights they got really well. That's interesting. Uh, UFS. Oh, man. Yeah, so, uh, UFS is a fighting game TCG. Well, I guess it's just, like, a fighting TCG. I bought some cards from UFS. I have Mega Man cards from UFS. Uh, I've, I'm trying, I, I want to play it, but I got to wait till the BSB tour is over. Um, okay. Uh, Husky Mon. Been watching Grum since its inception and your Newgrounds content before that. So cool to see you enjoying NTG and other entertainment constant, in, constant in my life. Have you considered streaming arena? Yes, I will absolutely stream arena. Um, can't wait to do that. Uh, if you want to learn MTG, just play arena. Uh, it's free. Favorite Overwatch characters, Farah, Barnon. Uh, Alex Forrester. Hey, Aaron, have you watched Game Nights? I have. If you haven't, I think you'd enjoy it. It's a magic show on YouTube where they play four commander games. Yes, four player commander games. Yes, um, I would really, really love to play with those guys. Uh, the player four. Mir Superion is one of my favorite cards. He's coming to clap them cheeks. Boy! <laughs> Hell yeah. Waffled. Hey, Aaron, you helped me through a lot. Thank you. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Uh, okay. That's all of them. Let's go into these fucking Theros pulls. Theros promo packs. Very, very interesting. Very interesting to see these. Oh, these, that's right. These have the codes. So you guys, y'all better get ready because these codes are coming at you. All right. Oh, what's that? Now it's gone. <laughs> Heroic Intervention from uh, Aether Revolt. Nice. Permanence you control gain hexproof and indestructible until the end of the turn. That's a pretty good green card. Interesting. Ooh, we got a fucking... We got a promo Gary! And Underworld Breach. Yeah, that's all right. Nice. Heroic Intervention used to be 50 bucks. Yeah, this is like not a green card. Hexproof and indestructible, that's... That's like a white kind of card. Well, a little Gary action going on. I love Gary, man. Let me tell you, I'm a huge Gary fan. All right, one more promo card. Let's see what we got here. I can't wait for Arena to be on uh, mobile, to be on like iPad and stuff. Here we go. Jim Tooth. All right, who got it? Biogenic Ooze, a little mythic action going on there. That's fucking nice. That's a great card. I love using that card. Got the Thrill and Shadow Spear. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Oof, that's hot. That was a hot pull. Oof. I love Shadow Spear. Yeah, fucking Biogenic Ooze is so much fun. I, I would love to create an Ooze deck. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to create an Ooze deck. I mean, it's about to get rotated out anyway, so might as well just make it a Pioneer deck or whatever. All right. Who's ready for that third? Who's ready for that third code? Who's ready for the third code? <laughs> Nizzy. Book All right. Legion Warboss, baby. That's a great card. Still sees a lot of use today. Got that, uh, got that Gary once again. And a Rasta. I love a Rasta. I, I have a Rasta in my um, Green Devotion deck. Fucking love that card. And Legion War Boss. I mean, of, of all the like goblin cards, that I see that one the most. Aside from like 10th Street Dodger. Boom. All right, next one. Huh. Go, go, go. Here we fucking go. You ready for this? Jag. Titten. All right. 
Dungeon Geist, baby. Not a big deal, but that's fine. I'll take that. Whoops. <laughs> well, there you go. Got Wolf Willow, ha Wolf Willow Haven and Atrice, Oracle of Half Truths. I see Atrice show up a lot. I see, I, I see that card like a ton. Some sick card advantage. Yeah, you know, Atrice, not not super valuable card, but like a lot of play. It is interesting to see when that. It is, it is interesting to see when that, that stuff happens. How it happens that way. I'm fucking losing my mind over here. Alright. You ready for this? Pip! Alright. Boom! What do you think of that? Zendikar Resurgent. Is that Oath of the Gatewatch? Yeah. Whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your pool of any type that land produced. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Damn. Got that Alsaid, Life's Bounty. And Storm Herald. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fuck? Nobody cares about Storm Herald. Shit sucks. Shit sucks ass. Sucks dick. <laughs> All right. Fucking losing my mind over here, dude. All right, next one. Tell us how you really feel, bro. I'm, I'm, I, I never, I never hold back. It's not true. Boom. DP one, baby. And <coughs> little Chandra, little Chandra fire artisan. How you like that? Mmm, hot, sick, nasty, beautiful. Love Chandra. Like that art too. That's that's one of the good ones. We got Gary, and we got Storm's Wrath. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a flying fuck? <sighs> Jesus. Who gives a flying fuck? Nobody cares. Fucking Storm's Wrath. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. That one's Deese. You know what's Deese? Deese nuts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice. <laughs> my dad. My dad. All right, here we go. <laughs> RGS, baby. Real good sucking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. Nico Bolas, baby. That's sick. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Thrill of possibility, of course. And... <laughs> More like Hilliard's waste of my goddamn time. But I'll take the Nico Bolas. That's fucking awesome. That art, too. Oh, beautiful. Whoever owns that is a lucky, lucky person. All right. Yeah, Heliod's intervention is all right. I have like 500 of them. I have like 5,000 Heliod interventions. I have fucking... I've got every version of it. I've got fucking full art. I've got full art foil. I've got fucking... Everything. Kiliad's intervention. Give me a break. All right, here we go. Whoop. What do you think of that? WGG. Okay. How do you like a little Tajik? Love this card. I fucking love this card. And since they got um, since they got a General's Enforcer now, we got a fucking Mardu, indestructible, goddamn Tajik over here. Fucking beautiful. Alright, Thrill of Possibility, and... Ugh, whatever. Codes don't work. Maybe somebody got it before you did, bro. Maybe somebody got it before you did. I'm just giving you what they gave me. Alright. I mean, first to roll in games is alright, but... There's no value to it. Maybe it's a foil version. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Hey! Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Are you kidding me? We hit this last time. Boom. Fucking promo Liliana. Ah, oh, come on. That's awesome. That's worth it. That's fucking worth it. 
Woof. Thrill of possibility and the fucking Nessie and Boar. Give me a break. Hey, at least we got that Lily. If if Nessie and Boar was the fucking like Les Enfants Terrible that like put its soul into Lily for, for us to pull Lily, that's great. Ah, love her. Lily, my love. <laughs> my wife. Alright, here comes a promo pack. So are none of these cards working? They're all expired? I'll just throw them away then. Look at that one. Oh, it's expired. Hey, little Vraska. Hate her. Hate her. That fucking alt sucks. I mean, I love her, but... Fuck, man. Thirst for meaning? That looks really cool in this light. Nobody... Yeah, I don't think you can see it. And, uh... Ooh, a Temple of Enlightenment. All right, I'll use that. Great. The codes work. I've gotten them all. <laughs> really? Did you see this one, then? Did I show it to you enough? Try that one. Da, 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 da. All right, let's leave this baby bad boy. I'm thirsty. Oh, okay. So they do work. All right, all right, all right. They expire in July of 2021. Yeah, I was going to say, like, Theros, that was the, that's a pretty recent set to be opening promo packs from and getting these codes from. All right. <laughs> Vex. All right. Cool. Love a little runaway steam can, I'll tell you that. Love that. Great fucking card. Use it all the time. See people use it all the time. Thrill of Possibility, of course. And Mantle of the Wolf. You know, not a great card, but uh, I do love it. It's nothing like adding 4-4 four, four and then you get fucking... Not one, but two wolves! Put Mantle of the Wolf on a wolf. Get a plus four, plus four wolf. And then when it dies, it splits off into two wolves! <laughs> it's fucking great, dude. Nothing but wolves, baby. Nothing but wolves. Quad wolf, dude. You got you got fucking wolf tripping happening over here. All right. Look at this fucking mess. Hey, hold on. Can you, can you just appreciate this fucking mess over here? I like how the candle's like precariously like. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking burn. Look at this it's fucking. Oh, what a mess. All right. It's just. All right. Ready. <laughs> Lubo. <laughs> Put some Lubo on that. Ooh, this is a pretty card. World Shaper. I'm not familiar with this. This is uh, Rivals of Ixlon. Pretty card. Thirst for Meaning. Oh, nice hit. Okay. Yeah, that's great. I, I use Annihilia on my deck, so that's a great hit. You know, not foil or anything, but... World Shaper's a hit. Nice. Yeah, let's take a look at World Shaper for a second. Uh, World Shaper. Whenever World Shaper attacks, you may put the top three cards of your library under your graveyard. World Shaper dies. Put all land cards from your graveyard on the battlefield tap. Wow. Shaping the world over here, man. Shaping the world. All right, let's try another one. Oh. 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 Alright. Ready for this? Alright. Planner cleansing. Non land permanents for six. Wolf Will and Havo and Oh, a dryad. Now that's nice. That's a nice hit. It's a little off centered. You see that? It's printed a little off centered. It's a little uh, high up. It's always weird when they're off-centered. Like, like you think like, the machines would be perfect. Dryad is amazing. Dryad is amazing. Ooh. All right, what else have we got here? Misprints are a thing people look for. I always thought misprints brought down the value. It's like the centering and everything. MP1. 
Yo. That one seems like it would be hard to memorize. Oh shit. I think this is a I think this is a hit. Disallow? That's a good one, right? Fucking nice anyway. Thirst for meeting an Eidolon of Destruction. I love the Eidolon of this Obstruction. I love the Eidolon. I, I think he's so so much fun. I have him in an, uh, an enchantment deck, in like an All That Glitters deck for standard Eidolon. He's great. First strike. Fucking comes out swinging, baby. A little bit of a misprint is bad. A lot is good. Oh, interesting. Misprints are rare. Oh, shit. Okay. I guess I gotta keep track of some misprints. I feel like I have some misprint Pokemon. This allows five bucks. Cool. Hey, man. Uh-huh. All right, Narset's Reversal. Sorry, I announced it before I showed it. It's getting a little late. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Gary and... Uh, oh, Heliod. Okay. Getting some gods. Getting some god action coming out of these promos. That's very nice. I love Heliod. Heliod's like a... Uh, Heliod just makes everybody a Johnny's Pride mate. <laughs> All right. Hits on hits, baby. Heliod's a big hit, baby. Oh. All right. There we go. Let's throw some fucking, fucking boom, baby. What do you think of that? Why mo? <laughs> Why you? Why mo? I don't know. Uh, and we got these cinder vines. Not a hit. Not a big deal. Cinder vines. Whatever. Fuck it. Thirst for meaning and eat to extinction. I see that card used a pretty decent amount. Not a huge hit, but uh, not bad. Not bad. Boom. <laughs> Johnny's pride mate. <laughs> Who the fuck is Johnny? Why has he got all these prime mates? Oh, I need to... Oh, nope. I got I got another bag of sleeves. Man, I use so many of these fucking sleeves when I do these unboxings. I just went through like 200 penny sleeves. All right, we're under the foils now. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this, baby. Oh, come on. Open that shit. All right, all right. Ba-boom. What do you think of that? Hot, huh? Pretty hot? Pretty sick? Pretty nasty? It's gone now. All right. Boom. Foil Kaya's Wrath. Very useful card. I see that a lot. Got that Foil Alsade. Oh, these are Pringles, dude. These are straight up Pringles. And boom. Phoenix of Ash. Oh, my God. Nice pack. Very solid pack. Not like, not like a fucking... Like a Hold Your Horses pack, but like... All of those cards, very useful. Even All Sade is pretty, pretty nice. Wow. Great fucking pack. I'd be happy if I pulled that in a fucking a, a release event or something. <laughs> nice pack. Pack in a nice pack. So many packs action going on. Boom. Mob G. W C C. Okay. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Kaya's Wrath again. <laughs> What the fuck? Jeez, man. Wow. Ooh, another foil I'll say it. And, oh, come on. Waste. Waste. I don't. I can't even tell you how many foil tier met calls the deads I have. T-Moret. T, T Ty-Moret. 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 Where's Moret? Let's tie her up. All right, got four more, four more foil packs, and here we go. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, y'all, you're not gonna fucking believe this. Another fucking Kaya's wrath. <laughs> you're gonna place that a foil Kaya's wrath here, man. The fuck. Hey, at least we got a different, different promo. And a Kunaros. I, I always love this card. The moment I pulled this card, I was like, this card's dope. 
but it's not good. <laughs> like, I don't see it. anybody play it. I've never seen anyone play it. It doesn't hold any value. I just think it's neat. Kunaros. All right, time for the fourth Kaya's Wrath. Here we go. Throw that puppy in there. Boom, baby. GZ6. All right. Oh, yes. Yes, here we go. In love with this lady. Ayara. Oh, God. Give me a fucking... Oh, I love her. I love love this card. I love her. I love the art. Ryan uh, Ryan Pankhost, he has a YouTube channel, and he, he, he posts his progress pictures of this, and the, the video of Ayara is, is incredible. I watch it, and I'm like, how is it possible that this, this man paints like this? It is unbelievable. Wolf Willow and Temple of the Sea. Not bad. Not bad. It's probably one of the one of the better uh um Skylands. I love you. Ugh, love her. Love her. Her fucking nose ring is foiled. Can you can you see that at all? Is that look at that. Oh. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. Love that. All right. Uh, two more, two more of these. Ugh. Two, 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 two. Ready? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> nice. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at this. What is going on here? <laughs> ah, come on! Hey, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. And... Ashiok's Erasure. Are you fucking kidding me? I just, dude, I, you know, I keep my collection binder. I couldn't pull an Ashiok's Eraser. I've, I've opened so many Theros packs and I could not pull an Ashiok's Eraser. It was like the only card I didn't have in the fucking set. So I ordered one. And, and you know, it's not an expensive card. But like, I just ordered one and, and it arrived like two days ago and I put it in my binder and then I fucking pull a promo Ashiok's Eraser. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Fucking luck. All right, last pack. Last fucking pack. Yeah, I know. I I had a full I I had a full art Ashiox eraser and a full art foil Ashiox eraser, but not not the regular one. All right. <laughs> WTV man. Love watching that channel. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> do they do they plan it like this? They can't plan it like this. There's got to be like a like a big variety of uh like are there only like 5 cards that these foils can be? Wow. <laughs> and Nylia. Ah, what a fucking way to go. What a way to go out. Fucking whimper. Wow. Get clumped. Three Kayas and three ARs. I mean, fuck it, man. These fucking promos are sick. I'll use these ERs. Are you kidding me? I, I use ER in, like, several decks. She's fucking great. She's great for sacking creatures. And, uh, it's like, I mean, you get to, you get to sack a creature and fucking draw. Like, it's awesome. AR kicks ass. Fucking sack a Gary with Nightmare Shepherd out with ER. You get to draw a card and do fucking... Two Garys in one. Um, damn, man, damn, that was that was fucking awesome. What a great, what a great fucking, what a great. Exp I love, I I love doing this, man. I love doing this. I know I say it every time, and I and I get like, oh man, I fucking love you guys. I fucking love this, man. This is so much fun. I look forward to this every week. Um, I'm gonna leave this vod up for a while. I think the last vod is still up, actually. Um, but then I'll I'll move all the VODs over to my Shuffle Master channel once I get it all uh, put together. Uh, oh, let's see the whole haul. Jesus, all right, well, you got this. These are all the promo packs, the Theros promo packs, right? And then um, these were the, the uh, Japanese Aquaria rares, and then these were the, the new Phyrexia... 
These are the new Phyrexia <laughs> uh, value poles. Pretty fucking, pretty awesome. Pretty good. Oh, I mixed all these up. <laughs> Such a dumbass. Why did I do it like that? Um, pretty amazing. This was a really amazing day for poles. Like, without a doubt, pretty amazing day. Um, but now I must eat. Uh, let me get through some super chats, though. <clears throat> Jokey Pants, thank you. Not much, but love the content. LOL, go forth and rule the fields. Thanks, man. Um, Kai White, also, I keep going back to your Mario 2 vid. Funny. Thanks, man. Um, Kai White, once again, question. I'm in a money-spending mood. Do you know any underrated games you recommend buying? Preferably on Switch, but I got everything, so I don't care. Um, dude, Club Clubhouse 51. So good. Um, I haven't been playing a whole lot of, like, variety of games, though, so I don't know if I would be the best to recommend games. I've been playing Dead by Daylight, too, uh, recently. Ritz, okay, thank you. Have Hey, have you played slash do you like Mischief Makers? Love Mischief Makers. Great fucking game. Great game. Um, Tom Gunn. Me and my close friend would appreciate a Danganronpa playthrough, but most of all, we'd like to thank you for all your great content through the year. That's one of those games. It's like Hollow Knight that just gets recommended all the time. So I got to check it out. I definitely got to check it out. Um, Sam Rush. Thank you. Hi, Aaron. Glad I got to catch the stream. I have some MTG cards. I got at a convention that I want to send you. Is the Grumps P.O. Box open? Much love. It is open. Um, yeah, if you want to send cards, uh, just send them to the Game Grumps P.O. Box. It's in the About page on the Game Grumps YouTube page. Um, obviously, it's totally up to you if you want to send cards. I'm not asking or requesting anybody send cards but if you would like to you can um send them to the p.o box uh and kp once again night aaron great stream as always thanks man you're always fucking here supporting i really appreciate that that, that there are a lot of regulars here man uh, I'm, I'm starting to see and see you know we got kai white we got um harriet i'm sorry if there's i mean there's so many that are, i'm not shouting out right now but um kp as well sue now i see a lot um, so th thank you, all. Pink Carnage. I see you a lot. Um, thanks so much for, for, for coming by. I really appreciate everyone coming by and watching. This is always so much fun. And uh, the only downside is now i got to fucking organize all these and put them into fucking shoeboxes and <laughs> value them out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, did, we pull, did we pull a card that was over $40 today? Was that the, that foil Praetor? Was that over $40? I... Um, I perfect fit those, and then I put them in um, the hard case. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, surgical extraction is big money. Oh, boy. Where the fuck are they? Uh, sort of worn piece. Yeah, this bad boy. These motherfuckers. Prayer, Prayer, Prayer. Foil Prater is like 15 bucks. Oh. Vorn Clex. You know, or a brass is 20 foil. Ah, oh, no, uh. No, uh. No super high value cards. Let's see, I had uh, Ikoria too, but man, nah, nothing in Ikoria aside from Mothra is above 40 bucks. Um, the Narset. Oh, the foil Narset. How much is Japanese foil Narset? Um, Ikoria Narset. Narset of the Ancient Way. Let's check that out. Oh, that's like seven bucks. Well, well, no, actually, no, that's the, that's the regular one. Uh, Narset, what is it, full art? They call it full art or extended art. Boring Clex is 35. 30 for Japanese. Okay. You know what? I'll fucking, you, 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 like, why not? I'll, where's Boring Clex? He wasn't even with the group. Oh, uh, new Genic growth. Here he is. I'll just fucking do it, just because I like doing it, and why not? 35 bucks is a big hit, so... Um, 
Let me get out a perfect fit. Fair enough, Japanese is 30 ish. Yeah, let's fucking sleeve this bad boy. So smooth. I love these fucking perfect fit dragon shields. They're so perfect. They don't feel... Sometimes the KMC can feel like a little bit like you're shoving it in. But these dragon sleeves, man, they're so smooth. Beautiful. Um, and take one of these bad boys. Fucking Ultra Pro One Touch. And just... Place it in right there. Fits perfectly. The, the Dragon Shield perfect fits are just like to the fucking millimeter. And just throw it in there. Boom. Voren collects, baby. Hot, sexy, Praetor action. <laughs> it's fucking so dope. So dope. All right. Hey, man. Thanks so much. I'm gonna, am I like, hold on, can I, uh, hey, it's me! <laughs> my hair is unwashed, but my body is washed. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate everybody hanging out with me and chilling, opening cards. Um, there we go. Whoa, whoa. Um, tune in next week, uh, where I'm gonna be, uh, for those who didn't see before, got collector's boxes up the wazoo. We're going to do a full collector's box extravaganza. We got Eldraine, we got Theros, and then we got 12 uh, Ikoria collector's booster packs. Um, I don't know if I have anything that, that's like... Cause I, I always try to throw in like a little bonus. Um, I don't know if I have anything off the top of my head that I can think of that's like a bonus opening. Either way. That's what you're gonna see next time, and uh, I think I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna order that Urza Saga. I'm gonna order that Urza Saga box. So um, next next session we'll do those, and then maybe after that we'll do Urza Saga. Maybe pull a little Gaia's Cradle. I don't know. Urza Saga doesn't have any foils, right? Um, so let's do it. Let's pull that guy's cradle. Let's pull like five cradles. Let's do it. I know we can do it. Hey, based on that fucking Phyrexia box, we can pull five cradles easy. No problem. Um, all right. Love you all. Thanks so much. I love doing this. Can't wait to see you all next week. When we open those cards. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay safe out there. Wear your masks. All right. Bye, everybody.